broken heart left on your face Hate the fight but I love the chase But I'm better than this and you're better than that Escaping my yesterdays Stuck in my messed up ways You show me you always stay Cause we're better than this, yeah we're better than that What the dog doing? What's up, y'all? Happy Monday. Welcome, 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 welcome. I hope y'all had a good weekend. Google, you still have the It's Fine pin. Oh my god. It's like my anti-anxiety token. Oh, Google, thank you so much. Christine! 07, Christine. Love the shirt. Thank you, Badger. Thank you. Someone mentioned wearing uh, It's Fine merch the other day in stream and it reminded me that I still have your It's Fine palm tree pin that you sold years ago and I carry it around like him Katniss with her mocking JP nor SMTH lol. 
It's like my anti-anxiety token. Hugo, thank you for the 55 months, by the way. Thank you for the kind message. I'm so glad you like the pin still. Uh, Psychedelic Rose came in and gifted 50 subs before I literally even turned my cam on. So... What you want me to do, Rose? <laughs> Thank you, Rose. Honey, no. Um... Got some greats on today to celebrate the new Greyhound. We have a foster right behind me. This is little Miss Xena. Um, I wanted y'all to meet Xena. Uh, we had homecoming on uh, Saturday and Xena came home with me. Hollow Taco collab came in the mail on Saturday. Let's go. Charlie, what a great day. Uh, yes, I'm rocking great, by the way. Also, you'll notice the autofocus is just... Look at that. New camera, baby. I switched it in, chat. I did what I said I was going to do. I, up I upgraded the stream cam, Happy finally. 72 months to you. Finally. Hope you, Jenna, and the pups are well. Speaking of pins, I still got the popsicle, the cloud, and the otters lol. Also, welcome to the famzina. Uh, Wild Spear Wolf, thank you for the tier two to 44 months. Okay, so here's the thing. Xena's laying behind me, okay? Xena, her racing name was Zenith, Slatex Zenith. And she's three. She's a little <laughs> greyhound. She uh, weighed in at about 53 pounds amazing. on Saturday. Thank you, Julian and Dink fam. I love you all so much. Orange and uh, yeah, Slaytex. So they get the, sometimes they have two names when they race and they get, dam usually what happens is they get the first name, I think from the dam, which is the mother. And so it becomes like a group of all, all of them will have the same first racing name. So you can kind of categorize and see who is from the same many, many litter. Months, baby. Um, so she was slain, yes. But her name, her name. Oh, Peachy, I'm so glad you like the, the nail polish. Thank you so much. So we decided to call her Xena because Zenith isn't our favorite name to call a little girl dog. So we're calling her Xena. How much does Bunny weigh? Pfft. Bunny's our biggest greyhound. She weighs, I haven't weighed her in a while, but I think she's close to 80 pounds. This, she's tiny. This Greyhound is very small. And okay, so the other thing about this, yes, Xena Warrior Princess, yes. So the other thing about this Princess. is she's a little bit of a spook. She's a little timid and kind of unsure and a little spook sometimes. So she gets kind of scared easily and startled easily. So uh, I wanted to hang out with chat and show y'all Xena, but I didn't want uh, you know, to be, make it too much. She, I, we literally spent most of last night and all, you know, a couple hours today getting her accustomed to this room. So I don't want to move too, too fast. Cause I don't want, I don't want her to get up. She's finally laid down in her bed. So I'm just going to scoot a little bit. One sec. Julian, mods and chat. Happy 43 months, stink love ya. I'm so excited to use your Halo Taco collab, Julian. Welcome, Xena. My nail polish came in this weekend and I'm loving Bep Bep Blue. There she is. She's just vibing. Yeah, she's a little cutie. She's very, very cute and sweet too. She's given us kisses, um, but she's very, she's a spook. She's very easily scared and um, still kind of unsure about like her surroundings and what a house is. Oh, I'm echoing, sorry, hold on. 
Okay, that should be better. Sorry about the echo. My bad, my bad. Uh, yeah, so is it better now? It should be fixed. Yeah. It's good, okay. Um... Besties, hi Julian, happy to be back, love this community so much, thanks for keeping things feral and cozy at the same time, no better place to be than here with all your lily dink lovey dink lovey. getting up there on the anniversary. Hope you are doing great Julian. Glad to see you and Jenna fostering another baby. Y'all are the best parents. When you getting your next tat. Okay, can you hear me? wanted to set this up so we could hang out with little baby Z. Come here. Come here. Okay. Look at how actually tiny she is. She's a little baby. She's just a little thing. Lost my mic. Okay, I got my mic. Girl. Shit, I don't have chat. <laughs> Peachy, this does not concern you. Well, here she is. I can just kind of talk about her for a second. Don't make that noise. Peachy's, Peachy's like purring like a cat. It's not a Julian size Greyhound chat. What the hell? So. Yeah, so I got her, we got her uh, brought home on Saturday. She hadn't raced for about a month. I think she had raced about 114 times. So she's, she's turning three in like a week. Uh, and she, I think she raced about 114 times. I think she won like 28 of her races and got like, I think 15 second places. But um, she was the smallest dog at homecoming. She was, uh, I've, I don't think I've ever seen a Greyhound weigh 53 pounds. You're so little. Why are you so Every little? Every month my sub gets closer and closer to my true age. Wonder if it feels itself aging like I do. What Not do you think so of the couch? What do you think of the couch? Dink -lovey -dink -lovey. You're on stream. She's just figuring everything out. She's like looking at every little room, every corner, doesn't really know what anything is. It's actually interesting because it reminds me of Bunny. Um, a lot of the racers we get, they come home and like, we need to teach them some things, but they're like, whatever, I'm good. Like Lonnie, psh. once she learned what the couch was, she was like, all right, I don't need you to teach me anything else. <laughs> but this one really feels a lot like Bunny. She's like, she's scared of some things and she's unsure about going into certain areas. And 
Yes, and for those who were asking, we have three greyhounds at the house right now. Foster Lonnie is still here, so. Yes, yes, hi. That's a house full of greyhounds. Three littles and three bigs. Yeah, we're outnumbered. I can sort of read chat. Horse house. Yeah. What do you think? Little baby Z? What else? What a beautiful little angel. Yeah, she is. She's a sweetie. You little sweetie. You excited to meet the internet? I don't know how long we'll have her. Um, such a cutie. Have fun with the house full of pups. Yeah, Love so I, I actually cry. don't think we'll have her for a full month because uh, we sort of stepped in because another foster family fell through for this one or they had something going on. So we are potentially one of her two fosters, uh, but we don't know. We're going to wait and see. Uh, we just might not have her past a few weeks. It was. It might be like Vika, where we have her just for the two weeks, and then she goes to a house that's her foster to adopt. So they they finish the foster, but then they adopt her as well. Um, what else? What do you think, baby? You like this couch? You can sit on this couch. It was really cute. Last night, I was getting things set up for stream and I was in my closet and she, I was trying to let her like explore this room so she could like learn what was in it and the smells and everything. And she kept walking in the closet with me and my closet's like small. So she would like walk into the closet with me and like get stuck, but she was just like chilling. So I had to like pick her up and turn her around so she could exit. But yeah, she's a good girl. Yeah, her color is technically called red. This is what you would call a red greyhound. It's actually the same color as Bunny, but Bunny has white spots too. Welcome to the doggy house. She's so cute. Sorry, I'm not reading subs right now. I just wanted... She's gonna have, we're gonna feed her lunch or dinner soon rather. So I wanted to get a little just chatting time in with her so you can meet her. And then hopefully when I game, we're gonna be playing Cory today, by the way, y'all. We're gonna be playing the Cory, which is a new fun horror game that looks cool. So we'll play that in a little bit, but um, hopefully she'll be able to chill in here while we game. Her birthday is the 22nd. So I don't know if that's a Gemini or something, a Cancer. What is that? Yes, she raced. She raced. How has Bunny been doing with all of the other big puppers? Yay. Love She's a Cancer. Human. So the, uh, that's a good question. How's Bunny been doing? Um, Whoever asked that, thank you for the resub. So Bunny has been good, but Lonnie has been amazing. So like Lonnie has been literally like the camp counselor because she came in, Zena came in to the house this weekend and was like, what is going on? Where am I? I was on a racetrack this morning. Like she was very out of sorts and um, timid. And Lonnie immediately just like like buddied up with her, went everywhere she went. She like showed her the living room, she showed her the yard. She's like, yeah, this is where I go look at squirrels. Um, this is where we lay down. And even her first sleep. So Zena has been sleeping in a crate in our bedroom because we're, that's where she, you know, she'll go for the first few nights. And we put a bed next to the crate and Lonnie 
slept in the bed right next to the crate because she wanted to just be right next to Xena. So like, I don't even know if, if Lonnie means it or if she's trying to do it or whatever, sure but she is such so many cuddles, a good dog lovely, for the Fosters. Purple heart, purple heart. So Bunny's good though, Bunny's good. Bunny, Bunny has a little bit of a harder time interacting with other greyhounds. She's, <laughs> she's just special. She has a little bit of a harder time. Um, but Lonnie has been huge, like absolutely so important and so valuable for, for this little one. Are you hot? Yeah, it's almost dinner time. Okay, you can go. You can go. Bun is just a little awkward, and that is okay. Yeah. How are you doing? Come here. Come here. Come here. Thanks for letting us meet here. No problem. What do you think? What do you think, Z? Also, check out my new massive water bottle. You want to get on the? Want to get on the couch? Yeah, you can get up there. You can get up. She has a little bit of an injury, her front left foot. She does a little bit of a limp. Oh, watch out. You wanna, you wanna sit? No? You wanna just stand? You can stand. You wanna go right here? Where do you wanna go? And she might be ready to leave. Are you confused? I know. I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. You wanna get in the bed? That's a great little baby right there. Come here, baby. Come on. Come on. She's just figuring it out. I'm catching stream for the first time in a few months and OMG. You're doing so good with the Fosters. So proud of you and Jenna. Love the new hair BTW. Thank you. Saramet, lover of Saramet, welcome back. Come here. Come when here, baby. I adopted my dog. He was Come terrified here. of everything. The Come fridge here. door closing, the Come dishwasher, here. ice Come clinking here. in a glass, big trucks okay. and bicycles okay. passing us okay. on okay. walks. But now okay. he is a confident boy and okay. the most loyal companion I've ever had. Yeah. It is a great thing you do for these dogs, Dinkluff. There you go, baby. Dulce, thank you so much. What a good job you sound like. It sounds like you did with your dog, too. It's, yeah, it's like, it, it really is. This is the closest to Bunny that we've had a foster act like. She really is. I mean, if you can imagine. A lot of what we showed you of Bunny, both on stream and in the videos when we got her, was just a tiny bit of what we had going on. Like, if you can imagine this level of fear, but like multiply it by 10 and make, uh, I don't know, like Bunny wasn't, she just wasn't used to people the way a lot of these racers are. So 
bunny was way worse. But this is the first foster we've had that is even remotely, you know, scared of stuff and spooked. So it is like familiar territory. And, you know, I'm sure she'll, we're gonna get her a nice, perfect, wonderful home. I just, I'm, I'm a little upset that we're not gonna have her for super long, but we're gonna do everything we can to help her while we do have her. Give her as much peanut butter as she wants. What are you looking at? Those are just my plants. Those are just my plants, baby. <laughs> like, this girl gave us kisses. Bunny didn't give us kisses for months. Months. She didn't even make eye contact with us for months. Like, she, Bunny was like... Yeah, Bunny didn't race. She was a blood donor dog. Is her injury muscular? Um, so we, it's not technical, like we didn't, when we did her medical exam, we didn't, there's no break. Um, it, it was just a little limp and it's on her front leg. So we don't know what it is. We think it's probably just a little injury that got exacerbated from racing a lot, but she hasn't been limping since she's been here. Cause she's just chilling now. She retired. So. Got bet, bet blue and I'm live delivered. Where are you going? Excited to wear them out high pay. Where are you going? What the dog doing? What the dog doing? She is going to be three in like a week. Mitch, um, primarily racing dogs, but both because we got Bunny through Grace Ava and she wasn't a racer. Uh, implications, thank you for the fastest around the West, by the way. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Does she hear the road noise and stuff outside? Yeah, she, uh, she doesn't know what any of that is but she's we've you know she's been good on walks she's just very excited is she underweight or are greyhounds like that a little so when we get them off the track come here come on come on come on when we get the greyhounds off the track they're not underweight but i mean they are technically underweight but they're they're just very, very muscular. They're in racing shape. So you look at them and the way you can tell if a Greyhound is the proper weight, the rule that we like to use is you can see two ribs. It's like a two rib rule. So right here, you'd be able to see just two. And then these hip bones, you'd be able to feel them, but not see them, right? That's a healthy weight for a Greyhound. This Greyhound, you can see basically all of her ribs and these are protruding to, you know, visually. So she's, she's in racing shape. That's how they always come. They're just always very light and very muscular and there's no fat on them. And it's because they're work dogs and that's what they do. So um, she needs to put some weight on and she will. You're doing so good. You're doing so good. But like when I pick Bunny up, when I do the, you know, the old Greyhound scoop and I do this for Bunny, like, if, you know, I have to really brace myself, but this, she weighs so little. She's so like, she's just a small dog. You wanna sit in the bed? You wanna lay down? Wanna lay down? Okay. No? That's okay.
How long do we have her for? Oh, uh, Justin, we have her. I think we're going to have her for about two weeks because uh, we filled in for a foster family that had to drop out and they will take her once they have their situation all ready to go. And we have family coming to stay with us in two weeks. So that's why we're not taking her for the whole time. Yes, the machine is coming, yes. Yeah, I'll tell you about that, but the the end of June is, is a little bit crazy for me. I have, where we have family coming and then I have to go to a family function the next week. What do you think? You like streaming? You're good. You don't have to run. You just chill now. She's really good though. She rides well in a car. She sleeps through the night. She doesn't mind the TV. She hangs out with the other greys. Yeah, she's a really well-behaved dog. I'm excited that we got her. The littles are good with her. The littles are so good with our fosters. I don't know why, but they are. I mean, the boys are definitely excited. We're bringing in these unfixed females. So they're like, yeah, keep these fosters coming, baby. <laughs> Kermit is the fucking Rata. Isn't Kermit a Rata? Do you agree that Kermit's a Rata? Here, sorry, am I in your bed? You can lay in here. You can lay. All right. I think she's just wandering. You just wandering? I am excited to start the quarry. Yeah, I know very little about it. I know very little about it. So we might actually, it's not multiplayer, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a story playthrough and it's a horror based story. So it is, we'll, we'll, we'll put together some warnings. I also want to emphasize to chat that we're, we're not going to put up with like, you know, spoilers and stuff. So we might resort to sub, sub, on, sub only moments, but we're not sure. We'll, we'll we can just kind of play that by ear. The way you've managed to completely rewrite these animals' perceptions of humanity, gauging the big world they were putting. Badger, you're sweet. No, it's it's like a, you know, it's a really fun process. It's a fun process to watch them learn how to be non-work dogs. You like the plants? You like the plants? Just the stream, streamer safe mode, you also get muted. Oh. Streamer safe mode may also get you muted. Oh, sick. Whatever. That's fine. Xena's gonna be three in about a week. Uh, White Luna, it's definitely not a beginner level dog to adopt, but I think educating yourself on the breed is very helpful before you make that decision. What's up, Steven? Marbles is doing good. Thank you for asking. 28 months. Wow, 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 wow. Crazy girl. 
When's Lonnie's birthday? Uh, the 14th? The 12th. Uh, August 12th. Yeah, we still have Lonnie. Has Grey gotten greater lately? Has Grey gotten greater Mads? Yeah, I think so. There she is. She chilling. Good girl. Damn it, camera frame. Come on. There we go. Good. Sorry, baby, I'm not trying to spook you. Did you have dogs growing up? No, I never had dogs growing up. I always wanted them though. Yeah. So we're technically fostering two dogs right now because we have Lonnie and what? now we have Xena. Happy 19 months, so happy to have you. It's so cool seeing you do the things you love. I'm very proud of you, Yule and Dink love a retro. Yeah, well, thank you so much. That's really nice of you. She's Athena. Thank you. That was really nice of you. That is nice of you. What is that little green man? I don't know, but he has something to say. He got something to say. The rug, please flip it back. Uh, no. Hi, Zena, baby. No, literally oh, no. I will not be flipping it back. Kelly, thank you for the 27. Nails with Manda, Kayla, Aries in Space, Mads Mace, Your Sam Witch, Nero Bat, thank you for the 28. Ella Dawn, Teotic, Houston Landshark, Breakin with the 54. What's up, Breakin? And Sam Rush with the 51. Thank you both. Can I ask how you say Xena? Xena, like that. Z E E N U H. Xena. I am currently wearing Liv and Monstera. I'm in love with the polish. I'm so happy to be able to support you like you've done for me and the Dink family for years. Lizzie Tish, I thank you. You're so sweet. I'm so glad you're enjoying the polish. Are you feeling a little bit more energized than last week? Yes. Thank you for asking. Yeah, we took it upon ourselves to call her Xena because we didn't want to call her Zenith. That felt weird. Uh, Julianne Pan, thank you for the twenty, uh, the eighteen months. Shiver, Badger, Allen, not Ellen. Tofu bench press, Peach is my spirit animal. Damn, Jackie, psychedelic Rose with the bits. Rose, thank you for the bits and the subs today. Thank you so much. Sit down, Weechi. Sit down. I made a chaotic TikTok of the polish. Nice, Stephen. I'll have to check it out. Oh, I think you met, sent that to me, right? <laughs> Love your less than three. Um, been with the sync fam for much longer, but so stoked about the holotaco that just came in and so excited for you and new puppy adventures. Polish is coming in two days. Nice trash. That's awesome. Is there a donation link to contribute to the rescue organization directly for folks who are out of the area? Exclamation gray save. There you go. You can donate on their website. I 
Nice jewelry. Thank you. Thank you so much. Show us your nails. You got it. My water bottle is Lord, yeah. Justin, thanks for swinging by, dude. Keep killing it. We'll keep listening to all your stuff. All right, turning this mic off. Xena looks comfy. Yeah, she's chilling. Can we I wore, get a draw check? I wore great to work today and was offered a promotion, not clickbait. No way, that's awesome. Can you show us your belt? Huh? The one I'm wearing right now? Yeah, we can get a drug check. You and I saw two people with mullets and the same type of glasses as you at the SF Symphony this weekend. I had to do a double take, I was literally shook. Then I watched an operatic adaptation of Oedipus Rex and was even more shook. Oh my god. Oh, ha! <laughs> two years. JP! Square Bear, that's so funny. Thank you for the 33. Uh, JP, thank you so much. I appreciate the tier three. Looks good on you. What's up, uh, Pips? How are you? Thank you for the gift subs, Pips. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Uh, there's a bunch of subs I missed earlier, but thank you for subbing earlier. Sorry, I was, uh, was trying to do the little Greyhound intro. Oh my gosh. Chat, y'all sub so much. Sheesh. Ali Pal, Erica Bruce, Yohu, Rose, Implications, Breezy Freezy, Little King Trash, Lore Light, Elliot, uh, Ellie, E Lil's Rad, Olivia Magdalene, Bella Luna, Giugel, Yarly, Rose, wait, Rose, you dropped two sets of 50 gift subs. What? Did I miss that? Rose, what the heck are you doing? What the heck are you doing? Put that up. Anna Banana, thank you. How's Peach's acting career been going? Good. She acts every day, all day long. Always on set. Stream camera color is amazing today. Yeah, it should look maybe a little different because I did switch the cameras. But it's on the same picture profile. Should be on the same white balance and the LUTs are the same, but it is a different camera. So, because we have faster autofocus now. Gibby, Lil Nugget, Dark Wink, also Katie, Dungeons and Dink Dinks, Jessica, Stevie with the 72 months. Thank you, Jess. I appreciate you. 72 months. This, uh, this angel wing is, angel wings ring is from, uh, Studio Cult. Becca Davis, straight beef, no cheese, wild spirit wolf, vice finality, peachy Angie, skeleton, Ellie Baggins, Nisi, Terry, Jazzy, Eric, bell jar, scout feather, fair maiden, Gabriella, Megan, Patricia with the tier three, 43 months. Thank you so much, Megan. BB Mill, Julia's unavailable. Lumpster Fire, Bunhead, Stranger, Jesse Boo, Sad Sarah, Kiara, thank you. Sorry if I missed you. Thank you everyone for the subs. Really appreciate it. Hi, Paisley. I think I'm going to do my roots. I'm not sure though. I think I'm going to do my roots though. What's on my nails? I am rocking great. 
Yeah. Yeah, Little Miss Firestarter, their uh, studio cult is really cool. I found them on TikTok, I think. So we got three greyhounds in the house right now. Yeah, that's why I'm in honor of them. I'm... I rocked great all weekend for a wedding. Oh, nice, Maggie. That's, that's a good wedding color, actually. That is a really good wedding color. That blue shirt is your color. Thank you, Bug Hotels. What's well, on your other hand? Great. Great and great. Check in on little Miss Xena, little Z baby. Yes, I'm having fun with the fast focus, very much so. Um, Dominique, I'm so glad you like I'm live. It's literally one Thank of my favorite so colors. Thank you for keeping me company for the past five plus years. Also, weird question, but what brand is your water bottle? Ariel, thank you for the 60 months. My water bottle? Um, L-O. E-L-L-O. This is what it looks like. Oh, I guess it is Elo, isn't it? Elo, is this your brand? Spawns? Fix the carpet, please. No. Make make me. Uh, drawn to dogs. Got a new greyhound. I'm so excited to meet them. Drawn to dogs. Yes, this is our foster. She's going to be with us for a few weeks. And she's a little angel. Got my collection box and my oats overnight package yesterday and tried to take some aesthetic pics and realized I am not a photographer, so I just painted my nails. I'm sure they were great pics, Euphoria. Thank you for uh, supporting. I've ordered Magical Mustache. It was the only one left, but I can't wait to get it. Thank you, Pips. Justice for Magical Mustache. Lonnie's still here. Yeah, it's, uh, I walked three of them this morning. This is what... Mighty Mara, Cav, Ariel, Tori Bond, Wicket, KM Katie, Squidney. Piece of trash. Thank you for the gift subs. Steven with a gifted sub to uh, Britt. Thank you, Steven. Holly Walls, Painted Panda, Kelly, Novo Happy, Cadence, Mad Madeline, Ann, Krista, Robin. Thank you for the 2000 bits. I wore great to work and was offered a promotion. Oh, nice. Prompte. Thank you for the nine. Okay, Mikey, Miles, Heinous Hillbilly, Tess Sophia, Manda, Altered Virgo, Julianne Pan. 
Are racing dogs mainly girls? No, no. We just have been getting the females. Are greyhounds good with cats? Some are cat tolerant and some are not. Just depends. But we test them when we bring them off the track. How do you test them? Well, at homecoming, we have one of the volunteers brings their small dog. One of the uh, volunteers brings their cats and we muzzle the greyhound and have them on a leash and we observe their reaction and how they interact, what they want to do, what their body language is. There are certain like little triggers that we watch for. There are certain little uh, giveaways that they're in, in prey drive mode, you know, little things that we look out for. And then we classify them as either small dog and cat safe or not. And, but both of those classifications don't, they're not, um, you know, a hundred percent. So if you get a greyhound that's cat safe and you have a cat, you still have to watch them and you still have to make sure they're 100% cat safe and you work with them and you use the muzzle and it's like a whole thing. Cause one little afternoon, especially the, the afternoon that they've come off the track, they're on a lot of adrenaline. It's been a long day. They're overstimulated. So sometimes those results aren't perfect. Alexis, thank you for the 900 bits. Missing Dink, welcome back. We found you. Thank you for the 27. Is there a big difference usually between cat safe and small dog safe? Good question. Not really. It's, I would say it's pretty uncommon that we have a greyhound test cat safe and not small dog safe or vice versa. Like safe for a little dog, but not for a cat. Because usually it's, it's the little fluffy thing that they see and want to get. Um, what happens sometimes though, is the movements of how, of cats can be really unique and different to uh, different than little dogs. And it's sometimes the movements that gets them and kind of puts them in a prey drive state. Whereas like little dogs, they look small and fluffy, but they don't move quite as like exciting as cats move. Yes, Pleasure Pony, we're still fostering Lonnie. Marble will put them in their place. Marble does put them in their place, actually. And they listen to him. When do you start playing the quarry? I have to go to bed soon. All right, so in like 10 minutes, I'm going to feed the dogs. I'll do a little BRB. And then we'll load up the quarry and start that. Friday stream was fun. Oh, nice lighting. I'm glad you enjoyed it. But when we take greyhounds in for fosters, we always make sure they're cat and small dog safe because the Italian greyhounds, they're cat-like in their movement sometimes. What's your favorite part of fostering? I love watching them go from the dog they are when we get them to the just the normal happy dog when we get them adopted. It's such a big difference. They're so raggedy and scared and 
<laughs> you know, not used to being a dog when we get them. And then by the time we find an adopter for them, they're usually sweet and loving and ready to be a pet. It's very satisfying. Also, I just love being around the breed. That's probably one of my favorite parts, just seeing so many greyhounds all the time. Y'all screen for baby safe. That's a little bit more of a complicated issue. Generally, we don't adopt greyhounds to families with children under six. And when, when people are planning on having kids, we encourage the greyhound to be there when the kid is born. So we wouldn't adopt a Greyhound to a family that has a one-year-old or a five-month-old. We wouldn't do that. Because when they're there, while the baby is born, they learn in real time that the baby is above them on the pecking order. And they're able to understand that the baby's part of the family. But it is a tricky situation, and it's not to be taken lightly at all. You're going to go feral with the walking mechanics in the quarry? Really? What, what do you mean? That's funny. I'm excited. I'd love to see Alani side by side pics. She's so much more shiny than she used to be. Bill, she's so much shinier and softer than she was. She was, she had like all sorts of dandruff and she was not soft and she is like, she glistens now. She looks like this. No, the Greyhound doesn't need to be at the hospital when the baby's born. They need to be in the household prior to a baby being born. The Ring with the Wings. It's from Studio Cult. You mean the Greyhound isn't the one who delivers the baby? Uh, Jen. Thank you for the... Uh, Jen... Jen Cido? Cdo? Thank you for the five. Gen... Genko? Genko? Uh, General with this 19 months. General. Good to see you, General. Thank you. Salute. Has Mint gotten gummier? Life update. Wife and I moved to PA and started Drem jobs. General! Amazing. Congrats. Is that why they call it Grey's Anatomy? Okay. Fallen Angel. Well done. You can have that one. Shmur uh, Shmurphy. Thank you for the two. One Arm Trollop. Me Lady. Chloe. Sammy Hunt. Dakota. Alexis. M. Enchanted. Thank you for the gift sub. Rose the Thug. Exclamation. Playlist in chat. Who is the streamer that has lobster now? Her name's Bridget Bolts with a Z. She's awesome. Our dog was a COVID puppy and he hates children. Yeah, that's tough. Is that Greyhound from Grey's Anatomy? Okay, you know what? Are there any triggers in the quarry? Hey mods, would you do me a favor and check on that? Oh, hi. Maybe just like, uh, oh, just blood and gore. Okay, thank you. We'll just have that then. Chris had a list of triggers. Oh, okay. Jump scares, blood and gore. Okay, good to know. Is Corey like until dawn? That's what I've heard, but I haven't played either game, so. I've been subbed longer than any car I've ever had. Commitment. All right. Dump that dink out. Thank you for the 20 fritz. Longer than any car I've ever had. It's the dink mobile. That's what you're driving now. Fritz, thank you for the 47. Elexis with the tier 3 15. Elexis, thank you for the tier 3. Looks good on you. All right, we're gonna work on the trigger list. We'll update that before we start the playthrough. Give me like five to 10 minutes, five to seven minutes. I'm gonna get this uh, Greyhound and five other dogs fed. And I'll be back. All right, I'm also gonna run a quick ad break. You won't miss anything.
except for a BRB screen. Patty Whack, Daddy Slayer, Sarah Dink, Liv Manza. Thank you for the tier three, Liv. Thank you so much. Okay, a BRB. BRB chat. Oh, okay, all right.
We got a little Lonnie in a t-shirt. She wanted to make an appearance. Thank you for chilling for the BRB. My birthday respectfully wish me a birthday happy birthday i will sub anyways happy birthday mia spad katie thank you so much all right we're ready for uh, for some spook, spooky gameplay, horror gameplay, poor. Let me open this game and see what, what we're what we're in for. Lady Loki, thank you so much for the gift subs. Thank you for the 10 gift subs. It's so nice of you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, oh, let me switch to my gamer glasses. Mary T, Wheeze Plays, Shy Squid, Axnosaur, K Salake. Congrats on helping another sweetheart like Zena Dinklavi. Why did you switch like that? I switched normal. Okay. So I need help. Do I go streamer mode or license mode? The most Aries glasses swap? What was so Aries about my glasses swap? Both will strike you? Wait, did Chris play streamer or what did Chris play? Chris did not streamer. He did normal. Chris did streamer. Oh. I'm seeing mixed information chat. Is Fluck here? Fluck, am I allowed to do license mode? I just want to make sure Caleb can grab it for a video. Because if, if streamer mode is still popping people, why even use that one, you know? You know what I'm saying? All right, we'll do license mode. Non-streamer mode. Why does my game capture do this? Limit frame rates to 30 FPS. What the heck would I have that on for? Subtitles on? What is this? Use open dyslexic. Should we turn that on? 30 FPS, gang. Most people play this with a controller. All right, we'll turn this font on because it... Open dyslexic font is enabled to improve legibility. Oh, amazing. Okay. Come on. Come on. 
captured. Okay, good girl. Highly recommend a controller. Highly recommend. Sheesh. Highly. All right, say less. Let me get my wired controller out. Um, I think we're looking good. Let's lower that. 85 just to be safe. You have no experience with super massive games, right? The way they control. Did we not just play a super massive game? Why did I hear a super massive very recently then? What, what have I been thinking of?
leaflet or pick map? Probably the map, right? Why is my controller not working? What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how do happen to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Oh, it needs to be an Xbox controller? Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put some maps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? We start so we can listen to Ari again? Hey, eyes on the road. Whoa. Ah, what is that? Okay, bad news. So we're stuck in the woods. Also bad news, I missed that prompt. But good news, I think the controller's working. What was crouched in the street? Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No. Your mom? No, Max, it wasn't a bear. What was it? I think it was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh. I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Get the toolbox. Oh, baby, we're in business! Nothing works with my scuff controller. Like. Sheesh. Chat, you paying attention? Chat, I'm looking at you. Okay, what is this? It's not so bad. My mom's gonna kill me. Yeah, this game better have a crouch. Can I crouch? Okay, dead game. Whoa, what is that? Interrupts. What's interrupts? Oh, another tutorial. Nice. At I've never times throughout the night opportunities will present themselves giving you the chance to take matters into your own hands it is worth noting that they are only suggestions you don't have to act upon them in fact sometimes it's better not to i'm always gonna act upon them always i'm playing on that my xbox controller because my uh ps5 scuff like didn't work We're getting the toolbox, right? Snoop? Hell yeah, let's snoop! What was this? Mr. Max Brindley. Dear Mr. Brindley, thank you for your interest in Landis University. Next year, this year we're delighted to have received an influx. <gasps> oh, rejection. Looting and snooping. Thanks, huh? Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? 
Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself growing up in front of a big old space heat. I'm tense. Well, anywhere's better than here. That's a lady! Was that Granny? Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. He ain't gonna tell us what to do. No, sir, you will not. Me? I just don't yeah. want you wandering off on your own. Excuse me. That's not what I meant. Yeah, better not be. I, I'm sorry. I, I really got to concentrate for a okay. second, okay? Yes. Oh, he's frustrated. Look, I think there's someone down there, okay? What's that? They could be hurt. I'm going to go check it out. What the dog doing? Good idea, Laura. So thoughtful of you. Stand in the same place much? Rose. Wait, so what? We just fell? But not okay, that's fine. Just a little little uh, mishap. Never let him know your next move. How do I use my gun? Harem Scarum. Ooh, a poster. This is a poster for a traveling sideshow. It looks like it's been here a while, left forgotten in the woods. Are those burn marks around the edges? Ooh. All right. Yoink. We're looting that. Wait, I thought we just... Oh, we can't pick it up, but it is a clue that we have now. We've collected it. We definitely saw an old lady in a gown, so that happened. Escapologist? A relic of a traveling show that must have passed through the area. Yeah, I might. Yeah, Chad was saying there was someone in the back seat, but like I was so worried about the fact that my controller wasn't working. So, but I take your word for it, Chat. Marble takes your word for it too. You can hear him take your word. What was that? Who just said that?
What the shit? I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. What is that noise? Creepy. We're just getting so lost right now. What was that prompt? It went away. Okay, I see how to control the flashlight now. Oh my god. gone. Max? He went to look for us. Max! Hey, hey, why are you shouting? Oh my God. What? Holy shit. Oh my God. Silence. Okay, so he hears it too. We're not just, we're not losing it. Let's just get out of here. Come on! Oh God, I thought you said you checked it! I did check it, and it was fine. Honey, I know you're on edge, but you gotta calm down, okay? I am not on edge, Max. I'm freaking the fuck out! It was probably just an animal or no, something. No, it wasn't an animal! You didn't see it! It was a woman! Lord, or this isn't helping, all right? Go! There we go! We're good! See? Please just get us out of here. Okay. Man, I bet they wish they had a winch right now. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Oh! Oh, fuck. Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No. Uh, well, she bumped her head. Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I, can, I can't even feel it. My bump, not my head. I'm fine. Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Sir, who, where did you even come from? Where's your vehicle? Don't touch my car! Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Why are we getting grilled? I don't understand why we're getting grilled. Hey, 
Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's Quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned, some paths are more dangerous than others. Okay. Got it. Thank you. If we are honest, hey, officer, something jumped out in front of us. He's going to gaslight us to the all the way down to the police station. And if we lie, he's going to be sus that we're randomly swerving off roads. So this is a uh, is good old fashioned lose lose here. But let's be honest. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out? Shit. Fuck it, let's lie to him. Um, a, an animal. <laughs> you know, yeah. Um, it's just, it, it, don't know what kind. It was so fast and... Yeah. Why is he bloody? Well, it was most likely a deer. <sighs> Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Where is his vehicle? Is like, where did he even come from? The all-time scariest cop. I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Where the hell is Silas at? Yeah, the witch! Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. You're not my dad. I can do what I want. Should we say we're heading to camp or we're taking in the sights? The taking in the sights is like we're, we're poking the bear here. Right? He's clearly mad. But if we're just like, hey, we're heading to camp, maybe he'll leave us alone. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. <sighs> Bro, are you even a human? Make it to hack its quarry. Not tonight. There's no way this guy's a human. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night. Okay. He's inexplicable. Uh, <laughs> Why is he bloody, plan, dude? Sir, I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Okay, it's gotten hostile. Shit. With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's Quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I just don't understand what the problem. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? what? I chose the wrong thing. I chose the wrong thing. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I would just like to show you a route on your map there. Oh, we're dead. We are so dead. Sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. So, we... Are right about here. Don't put that in your mouth! Harbinger Motel... is here. Right, okay. And what is this eye doing? Again? Well... I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Still, please. What are you doing? Hold still, sir. No, we stay, we stay. This is so creepy. We stay though. Fresh as a daisy. You can return to vehicle, ma'am. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Watch out for potholes. Oh, you need like Have a statement? Have a good night. Okay, you know what? I thought the, the granny running through the woods yelling Silas was the scariest. Nope, this is the scarier. This is way scarier. Also, this is a movie. This is not a video game. Why is this guy just sitting there? He's not human. Okay, we're not gonna cause a, a fight here. We are annoyed with Max because he didn't do shit to help us, but we're not gonna make things worse. We need to just move. So let's be relieved. That guy was giving me major weirdo The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my God, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Just go. Nice Meet you. Oh, we need to leave. Go, 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 go. Go. All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> Very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep I cannot believe we're still sitting here, when, like right in front of him. No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am. Oh my god. If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, who? do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm hmm. What? I, 20s, debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of Pipe down, Max. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> Holy, how are we still alive? Oh my God. <sighs> okay, we skipped the motel and we went straight to Hackett's Quarry because we're smarter and better than that cop. You gotta be kidding me, there's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This, this is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean, clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned? I'll yeah. be the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is 
Is anybody home? All right, so T minus what? Two minutes before the weirdo cop alien guy comes. Boy, I know you're not starting that car without me in it. Hate this angle. So like the interaction with the cop was bad, but we're just forgetting about how we saw like a ghost lady. I think we don't explore further without him. I think that's just asking for it. Oh, what's down here? Weird. Lord, there's no one here. Come on. Just give me one more minute, okay? All right, let's go. Let's keep going then. Let's go down the left side. Actually, wait. What's down here? This game plays in a, a really interesting way, like the navigation and the movement is wild. Person. Max! Max, get over here! What's going on? There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring Get out of the car and be done with me! Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. Why didn't you just bring... Look, there's someone in there. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, okay, so. Nice. It's gonna be super loud. So someone's trapped. We're going. We're going full stupid right now. This is good. I like it. Wow, that was super loud. <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah.
You've seen the Evil Dead, right? Hello? Wait, isn't that the game we just played? Are you hurt? Do you exist? Good questions. <laughs> Do you exist? Hey, be careful. Hey, he's just taking a load off. Definitely no adrenaline going right now. He's just gonna chill. Who's Ian? What the dog doing? How is he sitting right now? Bloodied collar. Oh, maybe officer had a collar. Max? You're frustrating me. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, Stop was, the gaslighting. I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out, but I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. Oh, it's behind him! I think our imagination. <laughs> Why is no one screaming? Fuck! Fuck him! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Chad, he was slowing us down. We didn't need him. That better not be the officer. It's the officer! Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? Appropriate reaction. Intro scene. At least on the bright side, the last thing Max saw before dying was us abandoning him. Hello, my 
friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Oh, Think say less. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting. Oh, yes. say less. And terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. Okay. We can help each other. I believe you. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light. If you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Chat, you need to chill. She is like dead. That was like 15 NPC taglines in a row. I'm so confused what she wants. Susan's mom from Seinfeld, please. <laughs> yeah, school bus. Chat, look, it's the school busy. Ladies. Peace and love. August 22nd? Yeah. What was the date Happy that... Happy forever! <laughs> you know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Dude, I don't even know who you are! What do you mean I have to choose? Don't get over it or you'll never know. Um, you never know. Hey, you never know. I mean, you never know. The universe has a kind of way of uh, working these things out. The universe? Yeah, like the uh, the cosmic. I'm recognizing space these actors. Gods. Space um, gods. You heard me. Okay, spell it. It's nothing to spell. You know, we're cool. Oh, so cool. We are Max's character cool. was on Righteous Gemstones. So she dumped her ass, huh? Hi, Emma. Hey. Yeah, he's Gideon. Yeah. Okay. okay. Is, um, <clears throat> you've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will you? Be a lamb? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're what a does that mean? Person. Be a yes, lamb. Yes, I am. I've literally never heard that. Be a lamb? <laughs> Jake. Bags. Focus. We didn't do it. <laughs> Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Caitlin moves on with her goddamn. I life. don't know what to do. <sighs> Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. <laughs> he just goes. Uh, I guess I, I guess I forgot. Jacob, go upstairs. Oh Jacob, get bag. Hit okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, get juked. Here we go, Paul. Oh! Wait, let's go to the double doors. I want to see what was down there. Oh, get juked, Paul. How do I sprint? How do I dive? According to reports from the local paper, the North Kill, <clears throat> some hay bales caught fire during the opening 
Hey, what are you uh, what are you listening to? Nosy. Good to know. Jacob, go upstairs. Jacob, get bag. Something else. How do I slide cancel? My God. I'm going to get bag, chat. I'm going to get bag. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, are you guys going to help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's... Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's... I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. With this thing? So Dylan, toxic. Please. <laughs> so toxic. Cool. Thanks, guys. <sighs> Dipshit's bolted it. Really? I wish I was paying attention to dates, because I would. I would love to know if this is before or after our little incident. Oh. Okay, so that big building wasn't there before. This is definitely before. This is before. How do I barrel roll? How do I mantle? Oh, it's after? Oh, it's after. It's eight weeks later. Okay, thank you, chat. Good problem solving me. It's after. I just assumed that um, we got to look at, like, after this had all been defunct and, like, abandoned, but maybe I read that wrong. Okay. Camp plaque. Let's look at this. It's two months after. Thank God for chat. The collar looks too big for a dog. What's in here? Man. Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. It reminds me of like Life is Strange, the way you can just have like scenic moments and you don't have to do anything. We sneaking in. Oh, skill. <laughs> Dude, no one's listening. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. <sighs> Poor. hall or something so we're supposed to find bags but like caitlin can wait i want to i want to discover things oh this is the front door okay what wait what was that there was a tarot card that just disappeared Temperance? <sighs> Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. It won't let me inspect the tarot card because it's gone. I think. Here are the bags. <clears throat> uh, 
All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Rude. Rude. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god. You are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? What does what about you mean? Okay, I'm gonna need you back all the way out of my business, Caitlin. Well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, uh -huh, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. Rude. No. Uh, mm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then she took out the trash. Rude. Then she washed her hands. Bye bye, Jake. Now she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Rude. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. <laughs> he, he about to cry, dude. He had a cry. <clears throat> um, are we uninterested? Oh, should we test that theory? But I gotta save some for the ride home. Oh no, I'm I'm sure you'll find some way to fill the awkward silence. Uh, yep, gonna be a super fun, not at all awkward ride. Thanks for that, bud. I hate that she called us bud. Okay, well at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan. Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole <clears throat> hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. <sighs> so she really just dumped you just like that? Well, technically no, but you know, she realized that she has her plans and um, I have my plans, and it wasn't going to work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't want to try, like, long distance or whatever? <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> Are we defeated? Maybe I like it. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me but you know what maybe i like it <laughs> oh likes it check totally not in denial oh, check okay wow the um the fumes of of jealousy are just stifling over here excuse me i'm just saying i guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog you're a real charmer you know that What is this conversation? <laughs> uh, we'll be I'm encouraging. Saying, I don't know why you didn't make a move on Ryan. You should have seized the moment. <clears throat> well, can't seize the moment that never happened. <clears throat> yeah, well, you can't wait for it to come to you. You got to make the moment happen yourself. Oh, right. Chase the moment around all summer like a dog with two dicks until it dumps you on the last day of camp. What? Okay. I'm not going to miss you, Caitlin. <laughs> Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet. And you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> <sighs> yep, that's a car. Uh, okay, so, um... Total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? Bro, it's like what? an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake. You do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me. Sag. Chick's made up her mind. Sag. Yeah. Sure. He's going to get everyone killed by doing this. We'll just have to find out. <sighs> okay. I think we steal the rotor arm because it's not damaging the car. We can always put it back. If we break the fuel line, we may be fucked. We may be fucked. 
Y'all, yeah, thank you for the subs, by the way. I'm gonna read subs once the playthrough is ended. But we're there, we're meeting alerts while we play. Path chosen. Not really, though, because we didn't really have a choice there. Put you right back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why did they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. D -d 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 Oh, yes. So rude. Great grab. Boom. Let's go, baby. Oh, oh. There it is. Oh, mm. man. Good Hit him with the L dance, baby. Freak. Oh. Oh, oh. oh, that's not the L dance. Freaks. I'm surrounded by that's freaks. a different dance. <sighs> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have like charged up our phones like a little bit. Nothing's ever. Your <laughs> Why do men? You know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency. Why is oh, no one being man. nice to anyone? <laughs> back off, dipshit. I'm sorry. I. Peace and love, man. I. I... I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Y'all ready to bounce? Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me and you're a super hot stud who gets any cheeky ones. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> Did we ever see the rest of the crew? Abigail. Oh, I like her forearm tattoo. Remember! Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Woo! Nothing but net, baby. Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. Then by shape our destiny, I mean. Shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Hell yeah, let's break in. Okay, let's do it. We better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One... Two, three. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. Oh my God, it is All Ellie's right, tattoo, well, isn't it? I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. That's so cool. What a rad tribute. Yeah, it is. I think it looks like it from one angle. Oh, what's this? Why would this place be in the news? Freak show goes up in flames. Okay, so this is like the sideshow stuff they were finding in the woods. All right. We don't know that it was at Hackett's Quarry, though. It might have been. Aw. This was little Izzy's. I want to play a game! <laughs> oh. 
I don't want that fucking thing. Yeah, you can probably just stay here, you creepy little thing. I'm like 90% sure that's the tattoo. I'm trying to get a good angle at it, but I can't seem to. I can't believe I'm actually going to miss all those lumpy, loose springs. I never went to summer camp, man. This looks fun. Did we miss something? What if the creepy doll is important? Well, sucks to suck. Maybe don't be creepy. We're just scoping, seeing what's around here. Doing a little scoping. Oh, what's this? It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcement. What the hell just looked at us? There was like a face. Wrench is gone. Oh, that's a chainsaw. That's a hell. That's a chainsaw. Flashlight, chainsaw. One, two, three, four missing wrenches. Yeah, is this a Billy? All right, there's no like prompts that I can get. Little rata. Okay, we can't go over there. Why did she just get so mad at the raven? Or the crow, whatever it was. Who cares, dude? Bird's gonna bird. Can 
Can we swing? Evidence. <laughs> Crows Everyone remember that stuff too. Scavenger hunt. <laughs> and at Hackett's Quarry, that's no different. There are secrets in these woods. Fun secrets that should you uncover them, could help protect you from criminal prosecution. After all, the stories you'll take with you are only stories without the proof to back them up. So it's time to dive into the mystery, take pictures, or find pieces of evidence, and you may just prove your innocence. Or not. Okay, so what evidence did we just Ouch. find? So Jacob hasn't seen this. Empty vial. Why would you Ew. sniff it? Ew, what is that? Is it Dylan's? Ew. Says Jacob plus Emma for summer instead of ever. Oh, Sag. It basically shows how far away we are from anything. Boston doesn't have a mile uh, figure. Toledo, 304. Seoul, 6759. San Fran, 2900. So we're on the East Coast. Death Valley, 2664. Burbank, 2815. So it just says Boston that way. Okay, okay. Ooh. Pool? Upstate New York? Ah. Oh. Was I supposed to already know that, or... Can't get in here. Geoguesser? Please no. I'd lose. I'm gonna stand up. Excuse me, Lance. Lonnie is laying right underneath my chair. Do we check all the cabins? I wonder. None of the cabins have had prompts for us, so maybe checking all of them is a waste of time. Maybe we just go... Actually, I'm lost. Oh yeah, I'm lost. Where the hell do we go? I like her backpack. Little bat wings. Oh, what's over here? A little golf cart? Oh, that's our friend.
Bat pack. Nice, nice. That's cool. I mean, we could search for more clues. I don't know. We already went up there. Huh. I wonder if uh, the second level over here, we missed something. I mean, there was clearly something going on with that crow. I wish we could run. Can you show the sign again? Yeah, I'll check it in a sec. What's over here? Have we checked this? I think we did. You can walk faster, check your settings. Oh, now we're flying, baby. Let's go. Okay, sign looks the same. Can we hop that? Why can't we hop this? We're just trying to find any clues that we can right now before we just move on. Oh, here we go. What's this? not going to be happy that the kids just this <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Well, we're not going to pick it up. Yeah, why was that so loud? Jeez. Wait, there's a door open here. Oh, this is where we went earlier. I wonder if we missed something in here. Maybe we take the doll. Oh, we can't. We already made our choice. Okay, let's read this. Last night in Hackett Woods, the widely anticipated harem scarum ended in tragedy as a blaze ripped through the show's attractions, burning the entire site to the ground in a matter of minutes. Though firefighters were eventually able to contain the flames, it is thought that dozens perished. There has been no official statement on the confirmed death toll. 
However, we can reveal that one of the deceased is known as Sheriff Hank Miller of North Hill. Was that the cop? The cause of the fire is still unknown. However, the North Kill Police Department released a statement earlier today indicating that preliminary, preliminary investigations showed no sign of arson. This looks like it was nothing but a tragic accident. Yeah, sure. It's no secret how quickly fires can go up in dry wooded areas. And through, uh, though Harem Scarum followed all the correct safety procedures, sometimes acts of God like this are sadly unavoidable. Our thoughts go out to Hank's family and to all who lost their lives in this tragic turn of events. Okay, thanks for that. When questioned on how the Hackett family have reacted to the news of the fire, being the proprietors of the land on which this occurred, authorities declined to comment. Our priorities right now are to ensure nothing like this ever happens again. The bodies of all those who perished are identified and their next of kin informed. Mem members of the public are, are being asked to avoid the area whilst investigation concludes and are also reminded that Hackett Woods are private property, known to be licensed grounds during hunting season. A candlelit vigil will be held in Town Square next week to pay respects to Harem Scarum's show members and attending residents of North Kill who all tragically lost their lives. Details will be published in the upcoming edition. Okay. Glad we read that. What is this? Oh, it's, this was like what we were saying about how we're going to miss the beds or whatever. Yeah, the old lady could have been a ghost from the harem scarum. But like that whole area when we were exploring after the car broke down, we were seeing little, remember we saw the flyer and then we saw the little the chest. Candlelit vigil for a fire feels sus. Truge. We're going to find something here, chat. All right, we've already done this. I still don't understand why we can't hop that wall. You know what I mean? Did I get my stand goal, dude? Come on. My watch doesn't even know I'm standing. And we can't ride the swing? Why the hell are we supposed to even play the game? I could have sworn I also saw a prompt earlier when we were near the fence. Maybe I was tripping, but I thought a prompt pop popped up here. Let's try it again. No, maybe I was just imagining it. Oh, wait, what about right here? Maybe we're just not meant to go in here. I don't understand. Button mash. Let's go around the back. Or not. Alright, maybe we just go meet up with her. I don't know. Maybe we're not missing anything. I don't think we've gone around here, though. Okay, this looks like we're just not supposed to leave this area. It won't let us do anything. Let's just go to our friend. Ready to roll? Damn, she was patient. <laughs> To let loose and vamoose this caboose. Downloaded Twitch just to watch you play this. Ali Aramento, so thank you so dramatic. much. Welcome to stream. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. 
So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. Swerve. <gasps> oh, wow! Oh. <gasps> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? Boomer, am I right? Who the hell emails? Oh, hold up! Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? Looking for trouble. Scenic route, baby. This will be fine. Yes, sure. What's the victory? I shot my shot over Two email and it kind of worked. No technology. <laughs> nice. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. Her subs need her? Is she a, is she a streamer? How could they live without you? Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important She's an influencer. advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're going to be like really happy you're back. My favorite spot? The fire pit? <laughs> the island. Mad secluded, right? Mad secluded, my guy. Is, is that smoke? Yeah, that's smoke. It's Should probably it fine though. One? Nah, 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 that's fine. It looks pretty contained. Are you serious? I was joking. Mr. H burning some stuff before. That's a know, forest fire. For summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably. Yeah, get back. Oh yeah, worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you. Well, no, they're probably like all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, same. Bystanders. Uh-oh. Whoa, that was creepy. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> Who? It's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take care of my own bag. Simping, huh? Thank you. What? Are you sure? I'm just kidding. I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own What about bag? the fire? Thank There's you. a massive she fire. Like, a... take care of our No one's bag. talking about it. Thank you. I actually can't believe she said, nah, it's contained. Ugh. Five seconds after we read a news article about like 15 people dying in a fire. Uh, 
Uh, Abby, do you need... Yeah. Can I... Thank you. She must be a firefighter. Ah, that's true. <laughs> Hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, podcast, nice, that's cool. What's it about? I don't feel the need to start a fight. Let's just say friendly. Yeah, what's it about? The J and J podcast. You think I was listening to a podcast? Uh, ding ding. About you? Oh god! Wait, I just if pulled it. When you had a podcast about them, it'd be me. <gasps> yeah, if there was a podcast. This came off my controller. Look and smell like a butt. Oh my god! You are so childish. Really, so look and smell like a butt. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a paranormal podcast. Th this episode was actually about this place. Weirdly enough. That seems like a great I idea. Heck, it's Corey. The who of the what's it where now? It's Hag! What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Verge. Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. <laughs> oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? <laughs> <laughs> it's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, they're supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's not Wanda? Really Sorry, anyway, Wanda? Hagga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Podcast don't lie. Cool story, bro. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time you told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You gotta be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, uh, nearly done, Mr. H. We're up to it. Get those butts in gear. Sir, don't talk about our butts, sir. Sorry, Mr. H. We had to liberate some luggage. Shut up. Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. <laughs> ghost He's stories? Like, I was literally just the minding my own quarry. fucking business. Oh. <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. Well, you know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Okay, Mr. H, whatever you say. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dillon? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. No worries. Cool, cool, yeah. I should have brought a Mophie like a no normal worries. person. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. What a nice guy. Hey, you can say thanks. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, 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 it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing with, with the... Hag of Hackett's quarry. Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Podcast ain't going anywhere. What? Because kids are kids. It can only be so much of a... They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. 
close. We don't want to have Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's a okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know what? Geared up? No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's going to take me to get rid of these damn kids. Get rid of the kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just come on. It's sorry I pushed you out like that. Champ. Why would he just stand there? I know. I know, dude. Come on. Come on. Dude. Uh, you need a hand. Eavesdropping one on one. You gotta, uh, no. you gotta listen the and then move. Busy, busy. Stick and move. You know. Anyway, you were asking me. Yeah, the hack of hack oh, score. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing. What you oh. I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus. You know, and I'm he does not give a shit. Around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, Ryan. That doesn't help me at all. <laughs> Dang it. Damn, we are frustrated, but, like, I kind of want to know what he's looking for. And, like, us being frustrated isn't going to make this guy care, right? Like, let's just be like, what's going on? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh, boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Sir? What does that fucking mean? So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, with these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. Good water drinking, Lonnie. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Nah, I'm gonna fight this. Yeah, it was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You counselors gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Okay. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. But why? Why before the sun goes down? <sighs> yeah, we're in night mode now, chat. Plant lights are done. They're done. Poor K. Why? It's getting dark, oh. Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Jump scare chat. I'm just getting you ready. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Good goddamn. Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see them again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee. Well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? <laughs> am I right? I actually could have used the help packing up since we were short-staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. I unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office... <clears throat> 
There we go. Right where I left it. Uh -huh. Let's skedaddle. Yeah, why was that photo so wonky looking, dude? Um, I was gonna say, I, I love the... The, uh... Make sure the new things... For real the new thing that a lot of games are doing these days, where they have actors, not only just like, you know, famous actors in movies and TV, Wait, but like how did you get voice actors the rest of us. Never and it actors alike be in the game, it off but they, it in, Dylan. they make the rules, them noob. their own physical character too. I think that's so rad. Like that, you, that didn't used to be a thing in video games where like, say someone past, was man. voicing a character, Good. they wouldn't get their own physical character either, but it like van. really, get on with our respective lives. like Detroit Move did it, that. Go. There's a lot of games that do that. It's like really fun. It's this studio's thing. It's so cool. Yeah, I What's love that. Problem? I think it's a really fun, oh, immersive dude, thing. I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. But we did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Daddy is stressed. Damn it! Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. 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 Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Easy. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec. Yo, he's acting so sussy right now. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Yeah, no problem. Yeah, sure. We'll, we'll stay inside. And a boy. Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down. He could have given us a ride. So, what was that about? He, uh said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Um. <laughs> Are you kidding me? What My dude is do? missing. Well, we should go inside, like he said. <laughs> She's like so clearly stressed and he's like... Until morning. Yeah. Or... Or we could do something else. Hag of hack, it's Corey! Hag of hack, it's Corey! What are you talking about? I, no one's gonna listen, what anyways. What are you talking about? No, Mr. Hackett. No screaming kids. Just a bunch of grown-ass adults ready to cut loose and get down with their animal side. Oh hell yeah! Okay, he's gonna be the first to die. A R. <laughs> Jake is gonna be the first to die. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. There's already a bonfire like a mile away. Oh, dude. Fuck yes, I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. 
I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. Literally, nothing we could have done would have gotten these. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out. Silly no, teenagers to listen to us. We're all gonna die. Stupid ghost story. Also, all of this shit that they're talking us. about doing, aside from the fire, we could do inside a cabin. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. No, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told me. <laughs> we will literally be the only survivor then. GG's, that's fine. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Party planning committee, let's do this. Um, okay, first things first. Nick and Abby, you will get some firewood. Uh, M and I will go to the Nothing store bad's gonna happen! Supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Seems good. What in the forest? Are they hunting kids? Oh, nice. Get in uniform. <laughs> this is me and Will after being in the forest for too long. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, the rich guy from Detroit. Is that the same actor? Oh, that's cool. Yo, let's go. Oh, I hi, mommy. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. Temperance. To be balanced, to consume in moderation. Or Are we still the girl from the beginning? Excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Wait, no, she actually looks so much There's like Susan's I mom. I can show you if you like. I was hoping you'd say that. She's, talk she's talking to me? Like me? She's talking to me? It is Susan's mom? It's the same actor? No shot! What a coincidence. You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't... I loved you in Seinfeld! Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves, and look out for my cards. All right, we got to keep finding tarot cards so we can um, we can learn from mommy. Who the fuck is Susan? Mo is it, okay, it's a character in Seinfeld. What, uh, George's at one point wife, no spoilers, and then at another point ex-wife, uh, Susan's mom. Stranded 
in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Vlog one, I'm camping. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? Like the forest? Hmm. First course. Oh, there, right. Yeah, it was before the marriage. My bad. Yeah. Rich fiance. Sorry. Body, this rare beefcake may leave an irritating taste lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Hell yeah. Objectify him. Well. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god. I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. That was the worst thing I've ever heard. Okay, I'm almost there. One second. Yeah! Whoa! And scene. I mean, I she should have vlogged that, that dude. Why did you stop funny. rolling? Okay. So, if I were a beer, looting and scooting, baby, looting and scooting. Beep, 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 <sighs> beep. What beep, are you doing? This is a cool story, and uh, every one of these oh. <laughs> actors and voice actors uh, are awesome. But respectfully, I can't wait till he dies. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beard art, dude. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go over here. Wow, the kids really wiped this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. Oh, baby, this takes me back to village. Remember all those safes we uh, cracked in village? I think it's locked. And in Last of Us, so many safes cracked. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> oh! Jackpot! Hey, uh... Check out my giant melons. Oh. See, you just cut a hole in it, mm -hmm. you pour in your vodka, it's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it. Yeah, it's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, <laughs> second most. He is not making fans in chat okay. right now. I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. <laughs> All right, let's get looking. Harem Scarum, baby! Woo! Harem he kind of looks like you. Does he? Damage memorabilia. Let's check it out. These flyers are promoting a traveling show called Harem Scarum. The date listed indicates that it took place over six years ago. Okay, yes. Is it the same poster? Yes. Same poster. What this? I like her chain. Thing is sick. I want to rock like a thick ass chain like that. You already do? No, this is not it. The hers is bigger. Uh, what is this again? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, a little memorabilia. Okay. Souvenir. A little souve. Oh. There's the bloody man. 
Oh, and that's the chainsaw. They're literally hunting us. Oh, I thought that was him. No, it's like that one Parks and Rec episode where Dennis Feinstein wants to hunt Tom Haverford for sport. That's what's happening. We're getting hunted. We need a weapon. goes locked oh yeah baby kick that thing mother Hubbard Hubbard what you uh what you done to your foot there that looks painful shut up You kiss your mother, Hubbard, with that mouth. <laughs> Done. Ha! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. The fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. There's literally like four bags of chips up. and a watermelon. What are they even so you excited about? Kissed when we made a stash? What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... Now she's gonna die because she injured her foot? Well, she that's her right. fault. Sure. She should learn how to kick a door down. Whatever. Sure. Alright. Now let's see what we are working with. Hold that. <laughs> the, the two food groups. Otherwise. Chips and watermelon. Actually, I'd be down oh. if that was, those were the only food, food Hell groups. Yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. Now let's get a weapon. Weapon, weapon, weapon. Go for it. Oh, yep. Cool. Want that. Let's what? take it. What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. Oh my god, that's for the safe. 7739. Yes, smart. Okay, don't. Nope. Don't do that. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> At least we got a, a nice. Nice, dude. Do you have any ammo? Jacob! Check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Torn bags? Can a bear do this? Pay attention to her! She has concerns! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Why is that a clue? Just an empty box? Why did that... Why is that in the game? You gonna do more workout streams? They got me so motivated. Yes, I will do more workout streams. Alright. Can't do anything with that even though we should. Seven seven three nine chat. Let's go to that safe. So you're uh, you're really gonna keep the gun, huh? Yeah, for bears. Okay. She's smart. Uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. There was a bullet. Yeah, but it wasn't for this gun. We don't even know if there are shells in this thing. We just gotta hope. Spray and pray, baby. Nice. Open the other entrance. All right. I 
I'm in. Wait, how does she not have to turn it? <laughs> There's the shells. Okay, some buckshot, baby. What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. Oh, oh we are fireworks? fine now. Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. Oh, we're leaving these puppies. I feel like fireworks are crossing a line. What? But you got a gun. Why can't I have firecrackers? Because the gun is for bear protection, and the fireworks could start a forest fire. <sighs> Stupid forest fires. <laughs> hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. Stop. Stay right there. Is that a flare? Oh, oh. dude! Peanut butter, butter He wasn't pops. listening to us at all. Dude, peanut at butter all. fucking butter pops. Aren't those for kids? What? Yeah, yeah, and I used to be a kid. <laughs> used to be? Okay, um, look, just try one of these puppies. I promise you, you will change your tone. Not a chance. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Oh my god, why is <laughs> why is this character moving like that? Come on, they're like the greatest snack of all time. <laughs> what was that? All right, what they just like you turned off a physics More engine for that animation. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow <laughs> out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure. Or buds? <laughs> no, before that. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh, I see. Bro, not the wheelbarrow. <laughs> Ladies first. Um, yeah. Which way? Someone please kill him. Yo, chat, chill. <laughs> All right. The inner sanctum. Don't say inner sanctum. It's an office. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure, just give me a sec to get this going. And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Let's uh, just be what's friendly. It called the one that you're listening to right now. Uh, bizarre yet bona fide. So like ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner, fide. <laughs> Get it? <It's> boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. Nice. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on, what kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> Not Mr. H, I know. He's cool. It's always been cool to me. Except the, how super freaking weird he was just acting the day he... Deserted all of us to die while we get hunted by his hey, bloody gun for? friends. Uh, Chris, Mr. H told me it was. Oh, didn't want bears. to show that he's on first name basis with Mr. Bears? H. Here? Yeah, yeah. He said they don't really come around because he's got the gun to. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah. 
Yeah, what well, I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if what if okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? This guy is like well, then I spoiling the game right now. To protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah, not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Your call, man. Well, hello, what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Why is he looking at it like that? Uh, suspicious. Yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. All right, well, it looks like it hit. It's the upside down! Darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climbed down. Hell yeah, we're going down this thing. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, man. I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. Okay, so one of the steps is weak and is about to break. That sucks. Ooh, that's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> this guy's face. Come on, he's not gonna know. The face that this guy makes with his teeth is so funny. Careful. What do you think I'm gonna do? Break it? He's Come up on. to no good all the time. Oh. That's a design flaw. Kearney, <gasps> Max Brindley. Oh yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. Oh fuck. So this is the end of the summer that they were supposed to be a part of. They were supposed to be a counselor with these people. Holy wow. Why are their names written down? Caitlin, activities coordinator. Okay, we met her. Emma, theater coach. I think we met her. Laura, first aid supporter, wildlife training. She was in the first scene. Dylan, Abigail, Nick, Ryan. Uh, oh, next page. Jacob, sports coach. Oh. Huh. Yeah, their names are in parentheses, yes. 
Merc list. Hmm. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. Dylan, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. <laughs> I just really, really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, <laughs> I told you to leave alone twice. Yeah, sorry. Third time's the charm? Oh, damn. I'm scared of him. I don't know. <laughs> I'm scared of him and I'm on his team, so I don't oh, want to. this old thing. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? Oh, yeah, let's fire. Uh, so that I can ask you out on a date. Mmm, uh, smooth. I think if I tried a cell phone number on this thing, it would just explode. Uh, hello? What? What? Who is it? Uh, hello? It's weird. I thought I heard someone. Yeah. Maybe you should have asked them out on a date. Damn it, I missed my shot. Kaylee and Caleb Hack. This is the Photoshop. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. Yo, my guy, toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? In where? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... No, I went off! Damn it! I beefed it. I literally pressed up. This game is so bad. Oh. I went like this. Huh. He didn't just beef it, chat. He beyond beefed it. What's this? Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow. There's... Yo. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't. Oh my god. Uh, Brian? Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just. They're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. I went potty and I feel like I missed a lot. Away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids. Basically, we're just wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just Mr. Just H left trail cameras. and we're what just like looking cameras? for shit. Basically, we'll set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know that kind of thing. So, okay, I'm going to upgrade Mr. H from super creepy pervert with a spy cam to, you know, super crazy conspiracy hunter. To be fair, Bigfoot's not a conspiracy. Okay, fine. How about an aspiring cryptozoologist? Hey, maybe he likes the podcast that you listen to. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of yes. hiding this room? Good point through a secret door in the closet. Uh, Stop defending I him! Mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just 
Okay, he's starting to gas like, gaslight us a little bit. I, I don't know. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's major league yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but it, it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure, that won't be an awkward conversation, like at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I I'm leaving the secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Damn, he got a nice microphone. Is this a stream setup? Oh, this is me playing Among Us, baby. I'm in here all night. Oh no. What do you mean it wasn't nothing? It was something. Okay, these are boring. We literally just saw a bad man. Replace scrapyard camera front entrance. And then there's a sketch of him. Hackett house. Okay, so this is a map. Nice. Trim back leaves and branches around woods walk. Reposition front night camera. Check faulty back left camera. All these notes are to fix cameras. Clean all the lodge camera lenses. Shotgun shell coupons. Fatality Valley, Yellow Rock, Big Canyon. Oh my God, are they not allowed to use the names of these national parks? Big Canyon? Imagine if it was called Big Canyon. I mean, that's what grand means, right? Huh. Grande? Oh god, this is for Max. Max is hella dead, probably. Max Brinley, Hackett's Quarry, Summer Camp, North Kill, New York State. Laura Kearney. Okay, so this is for the couple. The dead couple, probably. Actually, we don't know where Laura is. She might not be dead. Let's look one more time on cams. Okay. I think that's everything. Nice. Copyright. Sit back down. I'm sat. Breaks the bed. <laughs> Filming on TikTok. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch that. Ibuprofen. Yeah, there's nothing fun. Two 
toothpaste. Mirrors and video games be like. I want to know more about this place. I guess not much to know. Nice. Full up. Keep exploring, baby. Can we go back down there? If we go back down there, we're definitely breaking the ladder because we saw the... I haven't found a tarot card. I really want one, though. Max Brinley, activities assistant, asterisk, share no responsibilities, share no show responsibilities among remaining counselors. Share no show, re what? Share no show re responsibilities? Is that English? Share no show response. No show, like the responsibilities of no show. Got it. There should have been a dash. Like, because they were no-shows. That's a boomer coffee cup. There's got to be something else. That's a needle. What is that syringe doing? It's all rusty. So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Uh, 
not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Play in the field. Me too. Are the uh, phones... Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You want to check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. They flirt. It's a cool rug. I'm a cool rug. Damn. For real? Okay. Let's check on the phones and get out of here. Because this is... Nothing's happening. Maybe we missed something, but nice. I don't think we did. Full up. It literally hasn't gone up at all. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool. Let's go. Thank you. Okay, right before this next scene, I think I'm going to go piss girl. All right, chat. So charge your phones to 28%. Go piss girl. Grab a snack. I'm going to take a little BRB. And then we'll keep going. I'm really enjoying this game, by the way. I'm also going to run ads during the BRB, so... You know. What's up, y'all? 
Right. I got some food too. I got my dinner. I'm gonna try to eat in between like, I don't know, the slow parts so we don't miss much. I got a stir fry with a bunch of veggies and tofu. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. They always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Ooh. Rocky Road or Shady Glade? We'll go Rocky Road. I don't think we need to be in the shade right now. Good choice. Better six this way. Can you encourage me to finish a cosplay I'm supposed to be wearing this Saturday? I'm stressing. Lexi, get the cosplay done. Think we've got enough? Uh, not yet. Oh, there's a trail. <laughs> By the way, chat, tomorrow, um, I think we're just gonna finish this game. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves are in pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. We, um, we have Rocket League at about seven. So depending on how much of the game we have left after I'm done today, which should be about half by the time we're done, we'll count down that many hours before Rocket League and start stream then. Danger Fallen Rocks. Okay. I do not think he's British. <laughs> yeah, we'll get this playthrough on YouTube for sure. Where are the damn tarot cards at? Shit. It's all right. Calm down. <laughs> Hello? It's not all right. It's literally not all right. You found some? I only found one. Yeah, the music in this game is awesome. 
This dude is in Picard, if anyone watches that. Oh, I started that recently. But I only watched like five minutes of the first episode. <laughs> but I want to keep watching. So you ever think about what's next? Like after we die? It's heavy, man. No, I mean like the future. Yeah, sometimes. Just the thought that counts? Tell that to Jocko. Overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to like, let it happen, you know? What? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. Like it's all predetermined. Fate. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. I mean, well, it's it's totally damn. She okay poking them holes. Believe that. Yeah. No. Totally. Yeah. I gotta say, it's nice to play a story choice based game that's got good music and beautiful graphics that isn't Life is Strange, you know? Nothing against it, it's just, it's re refreshing, you know? Remember! Okay, so the tall brush is like the, that marks the perimeter. I can't go past it. I have to stay over here. The hanged man. To be the hanged man is to surrender, and by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. Okay. Was that a bird? That sounded like a guy, the first one. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. Wait a minute. Does the hanged man mechanic mean we let go of the controller and we'll see something? Is 
It says you, you let go and you can see a different perspective. Okay, so this is temperance. To be balanced, to consume in moderation, or to indulge in excess temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes with temperance comes deferred gratification. Like when we left. What the hell? Oh, that's a vision of the fireworks saving our life. But we didn't take the fireworks. Oh, shit. I mean, I would not, I don't know, fireworks? After we saw the forest fire? That's just, that's not responsible, chap. All right, <clears throat> let's find our next clue. Fork in the road? No, I thought it was a fork in the road. Can we go up here? Or is this just a little loop? Uh, Lindsay, yes, this whole playthrough will be uploaded on you, uh, uploaded to YouTube relatively quick. I'll, I'll try to have this up by like tomorrow or uh, Wednesday at the latest. And if you're watching on YouTube, hi YouTube. Chat, say hi, YouTube. Oh, I know where we are. Yeah? Up here. Here, hold these. He's like, so you're just going to draw? <laughs> I'll just stand here. Damn, Abby, you're really good. No, no, 
This is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. <laughs> Do me. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah. I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course. I just... don't know what. You'll figure it out. Okay. It's too peaceful. Something's about to happen. Did you hear that? Hmm? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. Piggy? <laughs> Baby Piggy! Look! Is that a chicken? It's so tiny. Okay, hey, don't approach it like that. My god, he's so cute. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing. Tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. Evie, that's not true. The Running from the hogs in Fortnite. Already dead. Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Huh? Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. Play rough or play dead. She laughing? <laughs> what the hell are you laughing for? Oh, no. <laughs> that thing almost killed me. That was kind of ungrateful of her to laugh at us like that after we shoved her out of the way of danger. As she should. As she should. Guess we should head back. Caitlin. Oh, we haven't played as Caitlin yet, have we? <sighs> Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Oh, that flare. <clears throat> Damn. 
Damn, we should have taken a video of the cabin. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? Still no service. Ah, uh, yeah. So, pretty boring. I wonder, maybe a satellite fell out of the sky or something? Yeah, and landed in the forest, waking from her slumber, the hag uh, hacking. Okay. You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting <clears throat> the mood, I have work to do. The vibe. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got <clears> wood. <throat> Coco chunks. Sending you good vibes. I'm sorry that happened. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a no confirmed deaths here. yet. No. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Uh, are you sure you guys are okay? Nobody got gored? We're okay. It wasn't a bullfight or anything. Though I think Nick did make a new girlfriend. Oh, do tell. Whoa. What? Special delivery. Did she just shoot the shotgun? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come uh, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh, well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Oh my god. Okay, dude. fine. Fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, 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 cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Am I? Please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. There is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, <clears> look, <throat> you and me, old-fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! My guy is flagging everybody. Oh, my God. Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're going to act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. You need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not going to die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on. Please. All right. Yeah. Guess we're going to have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but... If I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class. Three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick. But if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually... Okay, boys, I'm going to have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, 
The moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? <clears throat> okay, good. Now I'm going to go yes, set up Caitlin. some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. <laughs> oh, my God. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? I don't think we tell. Why would we tell this guy? You know? Fun. How is your little one on one with Emma? Oh, dude, it's incredible. She's totally still into me. Really? Yeah. Just gotta figure out this whole long distance thing. Is that what she wants? How would I know what she wants? I mean, you could ask her. <laughs> I could ask. <laughs> That's funny. Well, speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <sighs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Firearm safety rule number aye, one. Aye. Right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. <clears throat> We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you... Oh, we unlocked hand. combat. So it seems kind of silly, though, because there's people hunting us that we're just making so much noise, you know? I'm sorry to have to say there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. I love these little um, instructional videos. They're so well done. What are we shooting? The watermelon or the bottle? We'll just send it, I guess. All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far <clears throat> back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Thank you, good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Should we blast the bottle? We're farming. Good job, Nick. All right. Let's see what you got. All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. 
I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Oh, you know, like a cannon Dude, blaster. That is how you get someone shot. Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. I'm triggered. <clears throat> Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Gotta hear this theme song again. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter. Okay, pops. I get it. I get it. Blam! We thought this was over. What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Damn, she just won everything. Slay. Okay. New idea. Party game. Mm. Uh, Come on, people. We might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare, but Dylan style. Mm. Okay. House rules are: someone <clears throat> asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. So, like, normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? <clears throat> um... You really dodged a bullet, huh? All right, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, uh, um, I... Hey, take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on. I, I'm not finished. Um... Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um... Oh, Abby, oh my God. God, just pick someone. Okay, okay, um... Oh, I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Uh, this is bad. If we do dare and she dares us to do something stupid and we get Ryan killed, like, we gotta do truth, I think. Truth. I'm an open book. Okay, okay. Let's get right down to it. Let's do. You and Mr. Hackett. Here we go. What were you doing in his office? Well, I know what you're fishing for, but it's actually super boring. If you must know, I needed some life advice. Advice, huh? Oh, whoa, whoa, M. Um, okay, I got this. Okay, so uh, if you go to settings, there's an option called incognito mode and if you press that no life advice about school and, and that's no fair i've i've already answered my question maybe we can help uh, i don't know you've all got your own shit going on besides I, I figured just the mention of the word school would cause jacob to hemorrhage or something Ooh. 
do? What the hell did I do? Alrighty, who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. Good point. All right, Jacob, let's see what you're made of. Oh, there, there, man, come on. Okay. I dare you to take a flying leap. Sorry that we missed the kiss, part. chat. Naked. Oh, dude! Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing, I don't care. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, God damn. Jacob, wait. Don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto. You're gonna fuck yourself up. What? No, come on, man. I got this. Brian, come on. Fine, veto. You know what? Fuck this game. All right. <clears throat> Someone else can go. Okay, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Emma. There. Emma, so you have to kiss. Jacob? Or. Oh. Nick. Uh. <laughs> well then. Um. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know. <laughs> Why he want to be nude so bad? I choose Nick. Seriously? Guys. This is hurtful. Guys! Thank you, Nick. Sag. He's good. You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, I guess I should probably go after him. You should probably go find Abby. Chat, I'm sorry I couldn't get the kiss you wanted. So, anybody want to play Parcheesi? <clears throat> what? They're right there? <laughs> they wanted the kiss Welcome too. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. So then, what more has been found? The hanged man. To be the hanged man is to surrender, and by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to let go. But these are just words. There's more to show you, if you'll let me. Hell yeah, let's see more. That's all I have to say for now. Holy Secrets shit. remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow.
Chapter three. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Maybe I can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Great. Where the hell am I? Chat, give me one sec. I have to send a Greyhound related message. Okay, done. Thank you, chat. Thank you for the patience. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, we just ran off because we were sad about the kiss. Let's go! The tower, jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight, that's the question we all ask ourselves. But often, when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step, it could be your last. <gasps> oh. It's a bad card? Chat, what do you mean it's a bad card? Oh my god, dude. Hell yeah, call back. Nick! Abby? 
Shout again. I'm over here. I'm coming. coming. Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh... You ran off. What is this? Tell him. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, 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 no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. Her hair looks real, dude. What? I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. Oh, let's kiss. Wait, did we decide that or did he decide? That? I'm so confused. You can see this like veins, little the eye veins and that whatever vision that is. <laughs> see that? Or is that like what is that? Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Monster vision. I launched. You look? dead. Woo! Athletic. Oh, fuck. Oh, we hide, we hide, we hide, we hide. Oh, we shouldn't have hit, we should have ran! Oh yeah, let's climb the tree. What is that thing? Uh, 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 shit, 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 shit. 
Wait, he's just climbing up to get us? Oh, we're so fucked. Oh, we're so fucked. Oh my god, chat. Oh my god. Hold your breath. We held it long enough. She like looked up, she was ready to run, dude. Sweet truth is there. It's a fun game. Oh my god. It's not you thought when you first began. We're getting fucked up, chat. What you want <clears throat> now, you can hardly stand it, though. By now, you know it's not going to stop. It's not going to stop until you. Why is up? No, it's not going to stop until you wise up. No, it's not going to stop. So just give up. Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. Yes, you found that. Of course. Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you do, I can't believe you the, you fucking Frenched him. You know, in front of everyone. Jesus wept. Frenched, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. You you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No. Nothing. Never mind. I can't believe he yoinked that piece out of the engine. Fine. We'd be all alive right now. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Oh, come on. Or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Okay.
Yeah, she's a manipulator for sure. Can we just leave? <laughs> oh, we got a tarot! Oh, it's the star. Stars in the night sky, beacons of light, dreams of hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance, fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity and sometimes proof. Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. Still wet. This is so creepy. Why is why is everyone like not freaked out to just be around? this campsite alone at night. <sighs> Alright, let's go upstairs, see what's cooking up here. Zero. You dick. God, what the hell? Get back down here, Jacob. I I hate both of them equally. Hmm. What are these numbers? Manageable but unsustainable? What the 12 3 2016. 24 9 2017. Oh, they're doing the month second. Manageable but unsustainable. Unsustainable for what? For the demons to feed off of? I feel like, I feel like Max when Steve took his shirt off on the boat. Whoa. Someone up there. Yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. <laughs> yeah, the amount of times the character has said everything's fine is just like infuriating. Yeah, that scene was amazing. The way she just stared at him was so good. Uh, all right. We found, once again, we found a clue that something uh, has put us in danger, and we say everything's fine. Must have been the, yeah, the shadow. Check it and thack it, huh? Oh, well, check it must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. Who the hell is Thackett?
Abby came in Nick's aid when he was taken, when he was attacked in the woods. Oh, this is like our important decision. The thing about Abby though, like that mechanic where you hold your breath, it's so confusing because you would think that just holding your breath as long as you possibly can until the meter's almost empty would be just like a cheese way of doing it. But apparently that's the way to play. I thought like you'd want to pick a smart moment to let go because towards the end of holding your breath, it gets dangerous again or something. But whatever. Okay, should we just go back, maybe? Now, why are there exclamation marks uh, in front of some of them? That's weird. Yeah, we'll see about that. <sighs> okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry or... I mean, you could just... Oh, you can click on it to get more info? What do you press? Oh, I see. These are the same as the poster in the woods. Why does Chris Hackett have them? Was he connected? Oh, I see. Take it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> or you could just not get saved. What's this? A female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Shake is here! Cannonball! Not even a cannonball. Oh, cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Hurricane Jake? It's not the promise land, but I'm sure this room. Chat, they deserve each other. Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> hey, switch! Oh, stop being a uh, I'm not participating in this.
Dick move. I don't care about his sentimental okay. feelings. Like what? Check this out. Uh, okay. Take a picture of me. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, for your like um, little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? What? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> this is weird. This is bounced? Okay. Later. It's like that TikTok sound. Huh? Huh? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Um. Yeah, we're gonna go help Abby. Emma! Jacob! Over here! Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not. Is that what he dropped? Was that the rotor yeah, thing? I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? Oh, we're all fucked, right? If I don't get that, we're all fucked. Oh God, this game, man. <sighs> what are we gonna not rescue Abby? I thought it was dive in for, ugh. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. Well, yeah, we're going to get a really fucked up ending, him. chat. Uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. What are you doing? Go help! Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Impatient or worried? Okay, worried. Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! You better go. Okay, I got this. Cool. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Okay, Abby's alive. Let's go. Okay, okay, all right. She's got a little bite taken out of her. Yeah, she got she's got a little chunk taken out of her. Oh god, here we go. Shortcut. Don't break your leg. We're so good. Whoa, whoa, spam, spam, spam. Yes. Shortcut. 
Shortcut, baby. We got this. Oh my god. They almost got me with that one. This is hard. He's like, he's literally dead. Come on, come on. Get back to the fire. How did that guy not get shot, even though we shot him? You just said it had a spread. I know, what was I supposed to do? I, I was afraid to shoot, like, center mass because he was close to... He's a tank. Fuck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, please take him instead. There's a half naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? He's fucked. I think he's dead right now. said no call out. gonna die how does he die you know like how does he go out are we gonna be pleading till he's gone or are we gonna feel big and threaten all right let's plead oh, please please man just just let me down okay just don't hurt me please oh jesus christ what the fuck are you doing Son of a bitch. Oh, what are you doing? Shh. Quiet. 
I think he's actually here to help us, maybe. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh. What are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? Oh, wait, so they put blood on before what they went out hunting. Maybe they're not hunting people, what maybe the they're hunting those little demons. What the fuck? He poured the same blood on our faces that... that, uh... that they put on their own faces to start the night. So he was helping us. He's not murder... he's not here to murder us. But why did we shoot him? Oh, we shouldn't have shot him. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. So... We shot John Cena. What have we got? That's why that when they were watching us do that little it's truth or dare, they were like, this is stupid because we're not finding the demons. The little devil guys. Stars. Stars. But we saved Nick. We did, but maybe the bad guys... Well, actually, he already got shot by us and he doesn't care. Or maybe we missed. I don't know. hope, purpose, or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star, with it comes clarity, and sometimes proof. The tower. Jump free of your troubles. Fight or flight? That's the question we all ask ourselves, but... Often, when leaping out of danger, we're still faced with certain peril. Watch your step. It could be your last. Remember, Bunny. there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Hell yeah, show us more. Bunny girl! Yes, good, but... I can only delve deeper into one possible future. Oh, we have to so pick? Which is it? Choose. Shit. Tower's gonna be bad. Tower's gonna be bad. Is this what happens when you find two tarot cards? You only get to look at what one ends up being? You know what? I don't think there's a timer on this. So I'm gonna do a mini BRB. I'm gonna let Bunny out and I'm gonna fill my water. Y'all do a poll. Mods, can we do a poll? Tower or star, what do you wanna see what happens? I don't think there's a timer on this. BRB, I may or may not choose the choice that wins.
All right, chat. Oh! Oh my god. My camera just fell. Jesus. Hold on one sec, chat. Sheesh! Chat, give me one sec. Everything's fine. <sighs> no, the camera's fine. It like I caught it. It was it was uh, leaning over, and I caught it because the tripod fell, and uh, the sound scared Lonnie, so she ran away. But everything's fine. It was spooky, but everything's fine. What one? Tower one. <laughs> Tower one by 2%, 52 to 48. That's 4%, but yeah. No, it's 2%. I mean, no, you're right, it's 2%. Because 2% less would have been a tie. All right, we'll go tower, we'll go tower. Back to it then, back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Did I just look at the way at the wrong time? I can replay it though, sorry. I'm still just kind of like processing what just happened. We can watch it here. Oh, zipline. Oh, not a zipline. <laughs> it's a zipline, and then it's not a zipline. I'm just gonna watch it a couple more times. Sorry. That was horrible. It was. It, it was. I, I. I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... Oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. Drawing what? Oh, uh, can you draw what attacked you? <laughs> Who said authentic death drop? Banned. Oh, he's fucked up. Nick, hey, buddy. Can you tell us what happened? I'm all attacked. What's Abby? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Everybody is way too chill right now. Is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Because teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I thought we don't get bears right here. Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's infection. That's And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Why are you so chill? Uh, so, sorry. You're okay. It's okay. Fuck that. 
We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. What? Oh my god. Who the fuck made you a doctor? Oh. You're literally an idiot. Hey, I'm just trying to help. He ju just needs a doctor. Proper medical attention. And a shrink, too, probably. Callouts. Who's there? Shh. Ryan. Hi, bud. What if it's Jacob or Emma? What if it's not? Be careful. It was probably nothing. Why did I have such yeah. little time to look? But is it gone? Yeah, you better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Okay. Okay. I think I shot something. You were saying, Shall we look? What? Are you stupid? Let's get out of here. Oh, but what about Jacob and Emma? What if they come back and can't find us? <laughs> They'll be fine. Leave a note. Oh, that's true. If we leave a note and the killers find it, we're fucked. They'll be fine. Fuck those guys. Pretty sure they're off having the time of their life. Right now, we gotta make sure Nick and Abby are okay. I can't believe she's just sketching. Nick's legs also. She's just on procreate off. right now after getting get mauled by an alien. Okay. Bro, like, come on. All right, let's go. <laughs> she's cross hatching. And our dude is bleeding out with a black infection on his leg. No shot! We just killed him! He rustling around in the bushes like a gremlin. Oh my. Okay, here's a riddle for you. Oh my God, I'm traumatized. I'm riding solo on a freaky island in the dark. This fool, well, one thumb, one available thumb. Okay, and it was here. On a strange, uninhabited island that this brave young soul found. I herself. can't believe that just happened. Why did you shoot? Because we're hunting bad guys who are trying pleasure? to hunt us. I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, <laughs> tiny little island all alone with nothing to do. <laughs> I but shot but him in the now. face. So, there's a treehouse over there. I'm going to go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. I actually Not can't even believe that this job. happened. But even like, I can't I did, believe I just did that. That is I too much. Not, because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm bending. Oh, 
explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm supposed to just walk around with my vlog flashlight right now? Oh my god. I just fucking smoked Jacob. I mean, he had it coming, but I absolutely did not need to do that. The other thing that's really shitty about what just happened, right? The other thing that's really, really bad about what just happened. Like, very bad for everyone's safety. Is he was the only one who had information that John Cena is friendly. The only one. And now he has no head. It's blown apart. Because... When we went to save him, we shot at the at the big bad man who we thought was big and bad, but he was really helping Jacob. And Jacob got, you know, uh, you know, camo blood smeared on his face by Mr. Cena in an attempt to save him from the demon predator. And only Jacob knew that. So now we all think the people are bad and the predators are bad, which. Ooh. I can't believe I just fucking rolled Jacob. Oh my god. Oh my god. And this is the meeting shelter. It's a shelter where you meet. How is she vlogging right now? Okay, I'm trying really hard to make this interesting, but sometimes a thing just is what it is. I think I've made my point. I'm traumatized. No prizes for guessing what these are. Can't say that I've used them. A little too au naturel for me, TBH. You know, I've never thought about where the waste goes. That was a nice headshot, though. Oh, please, God, no. Sheesh, a little flick. Does he even play Valorant? We're gonna just go ahead and ignore that. Not anymore. Sorry, chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That you, Jacob? It's probably nothing. Just say it. It's probably nothing. The magician! That's, sir, that's an old ass man. That's not Jacob. Wilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Unsay that! Pretty cool, huh? You know, when I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. He's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every day. Damn, he's dead and, and you're still talking shit about him? You don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why 
Why does it have to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> Who's watching this vlog and being like, fuck oh, yeah, I love this creator. The metaphor in the narrative, <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid time? Let's just find the zip line already. I guess since this isn't live, <laughs> Sorry. the choice is up to me. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now you might notice the darling rustic vibes this I'm sorry, we need to put an end to this vlog no somehow. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor. And what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. And what does kill you, kills you. Just, just wandering around. Definitely not looking for anything in particular. Something that starts with zip and ends with line. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby, but these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh. Zip line! Watch me crap my pants on that thing, what the hell. I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna Kermit, what do we do? this DM so damn hard, it won't know what hit it. But first, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. She has the flash facing the wrong way, and she says we're gonna carpe this DM so hard. We have to kill her. We have to kill her. I hope Abby's okay. She ran off earlier. If you didn't see it, I kind of sort of made out with Nick, but it was a dare. I'm not like a bitch or anything. Oh, and for context, Abby likes Nick. Well, actually, they like each other. In truth, I just wanted to fan the flames a little. Watching them stumble around each other like drunk jellyfish was exhausting. Poor kid was like a deer in headlights. It's cool, though. They're smart. They'll get it. I bet they're out there in the woods right now, just absolutely going for it. I wonder if she's played the forest before. She just walked really close to that edge. Oh look, car keys. Police car keys. I think this may be one of those. I'm sorry, off. Sir, I've no idea what you're talking about situations. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave those right there. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety mm. and even more underwhelming hey. treehouse. 
In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there. Like, I've never been hunted yeah. with my friends in See, the middle of the woods before, but if I was, and one of my friends was just doing a bit the whole time, the I would lose there. my mind. I Being in a fight or flight state and having someone just joke? Uh-uh. Did you hear that? I would lose my mind. Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings, or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no right answers. I really want her to find the zip line, you know? Take a good old trip to Belize. But maybe we search the trap door too? I choose horrible, painful death. I don't know, zip line seems pretty horrible. Let's search the bag. Bag it is. And you know what? I'm putting some clothes on. This is all you're getting. Yes. She's wearing the same outfit as the Vision. All right, it's time, chat. Hmm. Fun. Okay. So, I think there's something up there. And it is not gonna make me jump, I can promise you that much. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. I don't think they have eyes. Let's use the taser. Take photo? Yes, dude. Wait, we survived, though! <laughs> Fuck! Was there another zipline? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's handsome. Look at them eyes. Let's run. We can probably outrun him. Down. We'll give her a chance. <laughs> Down. <laughs> Just a cheeky little bite. Oh, no zip line. Damn. I didn't time it right. I got it. He's okay. <laughs> I couldn't keep saving her, chat. I couldn't keep doing it. No, no, sorry. I'm just. I'm really she can't hungry. keep getting away with this. Get you some food inside, okay? Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Oh man, I could eat a horse. <laughs> well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola. Oh, yuck! I hate granola. That's not the point of the game. The point of the game is how I play the game, because I'm playing it. You can play it this how you want. The nurse's station should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. <sighs> I'll get you something to eat. Yeah. 
You and I are gonna find a landline. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks, I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, you're, you're probably right. <sighs> Come on, let's go call for backup. Pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. yeah. Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I don't think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. What is that? On the newspapers? We don't know that. No, it's true. Caitlin said. So all I'm saying is that we are not professionals. Says okay? the guy we who said we need to know. amputate. We, he could have rabies or something. Way to be optimistic, man. I'm just being realistic. We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. You mean 911? <laughs> Who says 911? <laughs> I don't know. I... Anyway, yeah, but like, what <laughs> should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. Cops with guns. We need a lot of backup. Damn, why do we call the cops? Because so the cops are bad. Say, 911, what's your emergency? And then I say, uh, help, my friends may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there or how smart they are. So it's very possible they might be mounting an attack on us right now, and we really need backup. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. What's wrong? Dead. Well, that's weird. Phones go dead sometimes out here. Right when you're about to call the cops, though? It's a coincidence. Did you try the hang up thingy? What? What are you doing? I don't know. It's what they do in movies when the phone goes dead. You tap on the little thingy. We're not in a movie. Okay. Well, you know, how do you know that? Maybe that's just what they want you to think, man. Okay, so this phone's a no-go. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. Wait, wait, you get to have a shotgun? I will put it back when we're good and safe and help is on the way. Uh, okay, just careful with it. Says the guy who shot fine. Jacob in the head. It wasn't me, it was him. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe it was the bears. 
bear. No, he didn't, chat. Everything on bears. Okay. So, for the sake of argument, what if that bear that uh, cut our phone line and just cut out all the power, what if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Oh, my God. Yeah, we should probably leave that with Caitlin. Do you think she really Hi, needs Z. it, though? Hi, Uh, she needs Hi, it just baby as much Z. as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're She's just standing in the hallway there. looking at me. Hi! You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like, 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but that's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Yeah, she, she should have the gun. She's better with it anyway. Uh, all right. <clears throat> You're right. Hey, we'll still have mine. If you're extra nice to me, I'll, I might let you hold it. Don't write a check that your ass can't cash. My ass has got quite the bank account. Am I interrupting something? That's real footage. That's like a, that's a, that's a video. Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. To see you. Good, Good to see you to too. See you. Good to see you too. That <sighs> time again, is it? Strength. Hmm. Strength can be surprising. Knowing one's own raw power, tapping into it, tapping into a previously unknown energy. I suppose there are forces at work within us all. And with one hand it gives, and with the other it could rip away. The magician! <laughs> the incredible, the unbelievable, the mystical, sensational. Perceptive manipulation. The work of a magician. Now you see it, now you don't. Blink and you miss it. And you wouldn't want to miss it. As always, there's more to see. Show it! And as always, the choice is yours. Would you like to see more? Choose one. Choose wisely. We gotta choose a magician, right? Let's, let's see some fucking magic. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember that was not the magic I thought it was going to be. Remember who's looking out for you. <sighs> We're on chapter five. Chat, do you know how many chapters there are just so I can gauge when we should stop for for tomorrow to be like the same amount of time? There's 10. Ooh. 
We're flying, and no one's died yet, so we're good. Hey, I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. Red chat? <clears throat> that was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you holding up? I'm... Uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy. You're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so... Just in case. And what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. I thought you said Dylan and Ryan already left. Right, stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. Let's go, Caitlin. It's your time. Let's go. We trust her. We trust her, chat. What was that? Are we out? John Cena. <sighs> Are they bad or good? I can't tell. Well, they helped Jacob. We think. Avoid, like, the predator. But he still is kind of scary. But he hasn't done anything wrong yet. And we've shot at him and he hasn't killed us. I definitely think that guy and his old man friend are hunting the, the predators. I don't think they're hunting... When you find them, blood them. And keep me posted, oh, blood him? So that he is looking for the us. So he can blood us. Literally looking at us.
What was that? Inter- what was that whole interaction? Hey, so this, he looked at us for like ten seconds, and we were just like, "It's time per se," but like, <sighs> what? Yes. Yeah, so like, I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp, and well, like now that summer's yeah, we like gave and, him the gun. You know, is that like the last time we're gonna see each other? You know. I'm sorry, Nick. What what are you saying? Hey, I'm kind of pouring my heart out here. Nick, I'm I'm sorry. Can we talk about this later? I'm, I'm really freaked out. And it's just not a good time. Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but kind of felt like a little bit more was going to happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? Duh, are you dumb? Hey. Sorry. I just mean, of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if <laughs> you did too. Please chill, sir. That sir. seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen, though. Uh, um, I... You can tell me. Yes, Not right now. I guess. Huh. You're just saying that because I'm hurt. Nick. <sighs> is your is your cut making you act feral and stupid? What is going on out there, Caitlin? We've died. We've died. It's okay, I got this. What are you gonna do? <laughs> the guy's got a fucking 18 oh times scope on his rifle. Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Yeah, we run. I got you, girl. Ah! Can we have some communication here? Whoa, whoa, he's feral. He's feral. Oh my God, we were right, chat. She's mine? She's not yours. And what was going on with those veins in your face? Oh yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station actually. Um, uh, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird actually that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD Oh God, here we go. You know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is is that something like that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music. Something. Sierra? Oh, um, yeah. I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh yeah, I mean, you know, not not here. Um... <laughs> we just lagged. I'm I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here I um. You're a wise. Wise, cracking, smart ass. What are you, a wise guy? Uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh, no? 
Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yeah, like you know, whatever, man. It's pretty cool. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Well, actually, I'm. Let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. Oh, I remember this area. Oh, there's a note. Letter to Camp Nurse. I don't want to go to Camp Nurse. That sounds like a terrible camp. So that's why Nurse Kelly went home early. Chat, don't boo me. Diane, you can head. You can go ahead and take off early today. The bus is going to be a little delayed, and I don't want you waiting around on my account. I'll make sure the kids get home without any bumps or bruises. Thanks for all your help this summer, Chris. Do not boo me, chat. This is life or death. No booing. Uh-oh. Thing fast. Just buck shots of the face. Can we go up here? Move. There's a clue. Oh, my God. All good? Uh, give me a minute. All right. Huh. There we are. Hermit! Oh, maybe we can hop into the pool area now. Oh, this swing? That's a good idea. The devil. Oh, what in the name of voodoo doo doo is this? Oh, 
Oh, can we go under too? Oh, no, neither. He came to get us. Yeah, no, I remember this area. All good? Let's do it. Oh, this place is kind of a dark Oh, the pump. radio! When I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay. 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 Let me get this set up. All right. Oh, wait, that wasn't a radio. It was just like a cassette player, right? The power tools? No. Um, that's Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever. So, I think the range is about a mile. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the ropes. Like a class? Yeah, it's easy. Like climbing. Sign me up, teach. Anyways, this thing's going to need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two way radio. So, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but. Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, <coughs> Terrible come comms. help us, SOS. Terrible uh, comms. This is uh, an emergency S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. Did I do good? Was that swarm of bears? Yeah. Heard of bears? Yeah, I've heard of bears, but. <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything yeah, back. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. Okay, yeah, sure.
react. Check it. I got a ping on the radio with no response. I'm gonna head to the Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Hold on. Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. Um now. Holy shit, they're talking about us. How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. For real, why didn't you say anything? Aggressive? I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Your light's on, dude. Uh, Ryan? Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. Send it, baby. Oh, shit. What is that, Brian? Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. Just break the window and scream at them. them. Um, flashlight, you have a yeah. flashlight. Oh, up my top? God. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, uh, get into the cabin now. Go! Oh, good uh, comms. Good comms. Good dude. comms. They're gone. Anything we can do. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare it off. Uh. Well, it, yeah. I mean, if it if it has hearing like a dog, maybe it, we we can play like a like a really high pitched feedback loop and just blast it. Blast and, it. And I mean, it would hurt like hell, but you know. I'm not trying to fight this thing one v one here. Okay. Deep breath. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Good. Support. Okay. That's good. Yeah. Right. There's something missing. I do. What's missing? Oh, crap. It pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Do 
engagement now. Go, quickly. Just a flesh wound. We got an achievement. Get the wire. Get the wire. Get the wire. What? Get the wire. The Put it down. Thing, get it. Turn the kid on that thing. Plug it, plug it into the thing. Uh, keep pressure on. Uh. What do I do? What do I do? The button. The button. He's oh, smiling. <laughs> He's like, this is great. It did the trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. How about you wrap up his <laughs> nub now, please? Holy shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my hand. Right, right. Okay. Uh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, that was a bad idea. Hey, we survived though. Is it safe? I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I He's just we lost not gonna life. mention that he has no hand? Okay. Out? I think so. So no hand? Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my God! Tell him what happened. Oh, um, I'm okay. I, I, I mean, I'm not. Um, but it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit! Uh, Did that thing do this? No. Well, sort of. It... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who is that? Who was she? Should we follow her? <sighs> He's not okay. Oh, he's shit, Dylan. he's what is that? in bad shape. <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> is that Emma? What happened to her? I thought she was in the treehouse. She was. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, you're back. Looks like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. The devil. Without restrictions, like a shadow torn from one's corporeal form. Pay close attention and act before the demons unleashed. Each of us have one. Yeah, we can do one more chapter. We'll do one more chapter tonight. And say their prayers by night. The hermit. Strange. This I want to see. Holds no future. Yeah, I want to see the demon. There's a past that calls out to me. I want to show you more. Would that be all right? Mm hmm. Say less, Mama. Two more things I can show you the devil. One possible future. And a hermit. A predetermined past. The hell's a predetermined past? What'll it be? We gotta see the El Diablo. I don't understand what that was. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. Oh, God. I need to rewatch that like so five times. Goodbye five, or se five or seven times, I'll I need to rewatch that. I'll wait for you. Damn. Yeah, we need to rewatch that like seven to 11 times right now. That's Abby's head. Just a couple more times, chat. Okay. She's just uh, swimming. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. Thought so too. So it's not Emma. How does oh, he know? Man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Oh, he's feral. He's lost it. Intervene now. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. No. He's a literal vampire. Somebody do something. Nick, what do you? Taste you. Hey! Come here. Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off! Everybody's just Ugh, standing there! Oh, Nick, get off! Nick? What was that water animation? Oh, we ain't helping Nick. Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm okay. I got you. I got you. Wait, I chose Comfort Abbey. What? What did I do? Oh, we did. Okay. I, I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. 
I feel crazy. Just try to rest. Uh, shouts out to everybody who's subbing. I appreciate all the subs and resubs. I'll get to it when we're uh, finished with this chapter. Ah, quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding, but you need to see a doctor. Bro, imagine the pain after the shock fades. This is fades. all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. Should have taken a now selfie on. with the monster when we were Emma. You've got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. I'm so mad okay, I didn't take that Abby? picture. Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? All right, let's go. I wonder where Caleb is. Creepy little shower, holy crap. The moon! Yeah, Abby got bit, but she's not like showing signs of, you know, turning feral. This place was so... different like 12 hours ago or maybe she was scratched I don't know maybe she didn't get bit maybe she just got clawed maybe that's why she hasn't gotten worse that makes sense yeah I don't know but she got it like right to the collarbone so it was pretty intense I'm surprised she's like totally fine to say it yo something is not right with that boy thank you dude is real sick did you see how you freaked out in the water yes i killed jacob i absolutely smoked yeah, him in a bush it's like uh it was like a fish out of water right uh sure you know something was weird when i tried to clean his wounds too at the lodge what do you mean all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit or scratched or whatever. He just kept moving around like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Hey, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Meredith knows that, huh? Can 
Can you stop getting so close to him? Abby. That's a zombie. Yeah. Can I ask you something? Of course. Abby, come on, girl. If we get aggressive, he might get even more aggressive. Like, he's so... Like, I want to run away, but I'm, I'm worried that if we say, I don't know what's going on with you aggressively, he'll be like, and then just, you know, zombie us. But if we're like, yeah, yeah, I love spending time with you, he'll be like, okay, okay. And then we can get away. You know what I mean? Push him in the pool again? I want to. Classic woman experience. For real. I mean, wh what do we do here? Mm, we don't want him to be like Gur. Calm, chat. Okay. Let's, let's go for it. Nick. Please, just tell me. Because he's like feral when we don't give him attention right now. He like tried to bite our neck. I really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. Okay. That's such a... Oh, such a... Such... What? Such a cop out answer. Uh-oh. It backfired! We should have been aggressive! Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Yeah. Okay. Why didn't you like me, Abby? It didn't turn him into like a... the alien type of predator. It turned him in like the human type of predator. Nick... You're... different. No, no. Just Nick. Good old big dick Nick. What the hell? <sighs> I'm sick, Abby. Why don't you care about me? When you I get do. bit by a zombie I, I, and it turns you and turn and turns you I, into a manipulator. Hello? Somebody stomp him. Smart, aren't you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Right off the bone. This isn't you. This this isn't you. Back away! Everything okay? Holy shit. Oh, he's he's morphing. Chat, he's morbid. Oh, fuck his eyes. didn't you literally didn't i mean dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest abby he was gonna hurt you you were defending yourself i, I don't i don't know that for sure i do no no it was you or him and well that definitely wasn't him man this is so fucked Oh, shit. Where the fuck 
is Chris Hackett. Who's there? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. <gasps> so? so no it's way. Chris it's Laura. Uh, From the yeah, beginning. The crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit. You... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes. You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Let's open it up, baby. I trust her. Wholeheartedly. Okay. I'm gonna open the door. Slowly. Just keep your hands up, okay? Okay. What? That doesn't look like her. That looks like Lara Croft. Did she just like level up or something? Again. Just don't say eye patch, Essie. Me. Why don't we? Take that was a short chapter. All right, we'll play another one. The moon, how poignant! Tonight of all nights. To harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into winter. Next one. Next one's really long. Hey, whatever. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? <clears throat> yes, please. I always want to see more. Fuck yeah, she killed the cop! Off you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting? She escaped that evil, weird cop. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. Damn, she's all scarred up and shit. Oh yeah, the last we saw, she got the needle to the neck. When we when she left Max. Okay, now she's in a jail cell, great. And the cop is probably there. It's giving you. I like, don't know what to do the whole time. I play this game. I don't know. Why did it give me the option to yell when that was clearly a bad option? Why would I yell right there? But now I missed out, so I feel like I did something wrong.
Huh? Did he did he morb? What have you done to Max? Shut up. Oh, he's dead. He we're killing him. Shut up. Oh, we're killing him. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. He's name. <laughs> Ah, what do we do? Uh, like we need to kill him, but how do we get there? Boy, you're up. <laughs> Saul? <laughs> Laura Kearney. Who are you traveling with? And what is your relationship? Max Brindley, he's my boyfriend. Where were you headed last night? To Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. You already know this. What have you done with Max? No. I ask, you answer. That's how this works. I think we stay compliant and then we fuck him up when he's not ready. I think we'd play it cool. Fine. What do you want to know? Oh. Well. Uh, why are we going to hack his quarry last night? Max and I are camp counselors. Oh, bullshit. Counselors aren't due until today. I told you, we drove up and got there early. We figured we'd just go to camp. Why didn't you go to the motel like I told you? Because we were, like, way closer to the camp, and... We're broke. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I know his head is shaped like a baked bean, but how do we kill him? Are we intrigued or are we annoyed? I think if we call him Sheriff, he might relax a little bit. I think we butter him up. Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like, Chris hack it? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime. Go ahead and kill yourself. Wait, is that Hackett's shit, brother? Lady. Is that and the brother in the photo? Is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? He's stuck it. Fuck it. I'm angry. Please, will you just stop fucking around with me and tell me what the fuck is going on? What the hell attacked us last night and why did you arrest us, you goddamn maniac? Take me to Max! Break right now! What? That was a slow motion attack. Why'd you do that? Don't you try that shit with me. Fuck. Why did she attack in slow motion? Hey. Oh, Max is fine. I thought he exploded into a hey, demon, but he's you fine. Asshole. You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Mm, 
Are you okay? Max! Are you okay? Are you serious? You just left me to fucking die, Lord. Do you really care if I'm okay? I don't know what to say, Max. I I was terrified out of my mind. I I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I can't expect you to think clearly in a situation like well, whatever that was. I'm sorry. I'll get over it. Laura? Yeah. Why am I naked? <laughs> what? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? Who plays Max? I don't know his name, but he play he's on Righteous Gemstones. Um, what do we do? He morbed? Yeah, I don't I'm gonna mm. Yeah, so our host was very keen on getting me to confess, but I honestly couldn't tell you what I was meant to be owning up to. Jesus. Skyler. What to try to get you to talk? The pincher, the blade? Three hole punch? No, it he wasn't torturing me. Who does this guy think he is? Well, Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. North Kill? Yeah. Max! What? Did you even look at the map? Hackett's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. He's acting sus, dude. I gotta look at his name badge and... Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? Oh, we're earning his we're earning his trust back. All right, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. If we have another chance to attack him, we got to take it. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey, hey. Let's get the fuck off. Come on, move. Good boy. Hey, stop struggling. Max, calm down. You're only making it worse. Laura. What the hell did you do to her? Shut up. There's gotta be something in here you can use. Oh, let's go. While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. The sheriff do be con continuing his creeping. That is accurate. Hi, Bon. Ew. Spoon? Hold on one sec, chat. Uh, 
Okay. All right. That spoon can be used as a knife, right? Grab that thing. What? Sis. Not a chance. What was that face that she just some made? Some sort of lever. The spoon. <laughs> that could work. We've been saying that, Laura. This whole time we've been saying the spoon. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. It, man, I bruise easily. Give me a break. Now you. Hey, the second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. What? I didn't say that. Sure. Second you get out. Ugh. I was working him, and then this auto cue message. Part of me thinks that because the story and the unprompted voice lines from her are getting aggressive, that's that that's the direction I should go. But I kind of want to like butter him up. I don't know. Wait, well, answer your questions. You just can't lock us up in here with no goddamn explanation and expect us to be all butter and cupcakes, okay? Just work with us here. You have nothing to bargain with. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Damn You can't just leave us in here! Hey! Come back! Well, we got the brick Fuck. still. Son of a binky bonky. Son of a binky bonky. Are you okay? It's just a foot. It'll heal. I meant the interrogation. Oh. Yeah. Can't break old Max. Many have tried, many have failed. I'm being serious, Max. He just... He asked a lot of dumb questions. All right, I don't know. Would you get off my back? Jeez, I'm sorry. Would you stop nagging me in this life or death situation? Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whippet? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my God, like the Chris Hackett? Yeah. Who's the Chris Hackett? 
As in camp leader, Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Man. Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... Alliteration. I mean... What? I don't know what to choose. I, uh... He is acting like a kidnapper. He's absolutely acting like a kidnapper. Like some kind of setup, a, a, a trap. I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? They knew we were coming. Maybe it's some kind of kidnapping. Oh, we're missing. I think we're missing. Conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives? Right. We called ahead, right? What the fuck is even happening? This isn't forever, Max. You, you can't just hold us here forever. You didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? <laughs> Max needs a zipline yeah. ride. <laughs> I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. That was good alliteration, too. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... Um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I found it in your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I, I was embarrassed. Wait, your grades were good and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max. What the fuck? I don't know. What do you want me to say? <laughs> Hero, please. The college giving him the L dance. Maybe sorry I lied to you, or I'm sorry. All right, we we gotta be empathetic. I think. I'm sorry, Max. This this really sucks. Hey, it's not the worst thing to happen this summer. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have kept it from you. Yeah, he's being weird, but he's not acting you know, like he, he's feral. Anything, like, right? may, if anything, he's just a yeah. double agent, you know? But he's not acting like... Yeah, I do. I don't know. What was that blood explosion in his cell, though? Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually, yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal. You remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's gotta be dirty, but... 
I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's like... nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead, there's nobody there, and we get attacked by something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was, was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. Yeah, what the hell? What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? <sighs> Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like, whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods. And you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month. Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. What if, uh... Okay, no. Stop. I'm just saying, you know, maybe there's a slight chance. It was Werewolf! Werewolf! Are you out of your- <laughs> Goddamn mine? Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies? Aliens? Time hopping Draculas. Ryan, right? Yeah. You want answers? I've got answers. Interrupt me again, you're on your own. <laughs> Tell him! Whatever. Would it really be so crazy? With all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With a thing on the roof? Like, he's okay, making like, jokes really about Draculas and zombies Dylan, after his friend just, just gets shot in the head by a shotgun and, and then jumps like through a window as, like, story. a demon. How is it so different from your ghost stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for no, everything. No, no, there doesn't. This. No, there doesn't. There doesn't. There literally doesn't. Okay, you were not talking so rational when you separated my hand from the rest of my body. You told me to. And if it's... Bite with which your face cleave limb from Hi. torso with great haste. What? You did the right thing. See? She got a whole poem. Oh, that was it. the tarot card, right? Hi, Lonnie. Hi. Come here. Okay. There's more to all this than Greyhounds are just peeking through that hallway and then running away. Just let me finish. Then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. Four hours, I said. I know, I know. The next few weeks were long. Well, we did play for four hours, so the I wasn't lying. kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot. As much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement. What happened to Max? We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. This is so cool. All we knew is that we needed to get out of there. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, p a plan. We well, keep saying that, but it's been weeks, so, you know, let me know if you have one. 
That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Just keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. This again feels like a trap because we clearly escaped. But <sighs> watch the card again. So, in this vision, Laura already has a, an eye injury. She has a bandage around her eye. She finds the syringe, fakes being knocked out. He comes to her aid and she stabs him with a syringe. So, so she debates him. But what I'm thinking is the fact that she has a bandage over her head already means that some shit went down. And you don't see Max in this vision. And you don't see Max in present day. The moon, how poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. That's the opposite of reckless. I think we go with curious. Okay, so let's say we get on his good side. What then? Brunch and mimosas every Sunday till he sees the error of his ways? Yeah, I was being rhetorical. The dude doesn't have a good side to get on. I mean, he don't even talk to us half the time. I don't know, I think we could crack him. Laura, I think he's just biding his time until he can figure out a way to get rid of us. Permanently. I can't believe it's not I butter the cop try. up. I mean, if he was gonna kill us, we'd so be we can dead kill by him. now. So what's he waiting for? Look, we just... If this doesn't work, we try to escape. Deal? Yeah. Deal. So, all right, how are we supposed to get this guy to like us if he won't even talk to us? I don't know. I mean, he's gotta have a weak spot, like something we can use. It's not like we don't have time to figure it out. Yeah, okay. Hey, hey, T-Money. <laughs> Can I call you T-Money? Why? You can call me Officer Hackett. Hackett? Like as in Hackett's quarry? <sighs> What's it to you? Just interested is all. Feel like we hardly know you. Well, let's keep it that way. Okay. Oh, come on, T-Money. Lighten up, man. No reason we can't be buds, right? T-Money! I can think of seven. You're right. We've been just awful, and we really want to make it up to you. Oh. I see what you're doing. Well, it's not gonna work. You think we're just gonna be besties, and I'm gonna let you walk right out of here. Best gonna happen. Asshole! Max! We know what's going on! 
We know Max is a werewolf! Full moon's in a few days, right? What, what then? No, ma'am. You don't know the half of it. <sighs> I said, take your fucking clothes off! Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Oh, he's Morbin. Come here. Get off of me! Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not gonna believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. G, come in. What's your position? Over. Shit. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Down to 20. Over. What's gonna happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not gonna be pretty. But don't worry. What did I do? What did I miss? What did I miss? Sorry, I thought Peach was throwing up. What did I miss? Fine. Just tell me what I missed. I'll watch the VOD. Peach, I thought Peach was throwing up. I literally thought she was throwing up. I'm sorry, chat. What did I miss? I missed the call for help. Oh no. Fuck. Peachy, you need to go out, baby? I don't know. She was like acting. One sec, hold on. Shit. Okay. All right. They're, the good news is Peach isn't throwing up. The bad news is I missed the prompt, but whatever. Just don't get too close. Yeah, she's fine. I just thought she was throwing up, so I checked on her. don't feel so good. Um, what do you need? What can I do to help? I was just hot. Are you hot? Oh, I'm kind of stuck next to this big ass pipe, so I'm not exactly cool. Just stay back, okay? You shouldn't be this close. There's not a lot I can do about that right now. <sighs> Max? Max? Hey, what's going on? Hey, Morbin. That's the eye injury. Oh my god. Oh my god. Why is she running like that? Fuck! 
damn, when you get your eye clawed out and you just you're just mad and it doesn't hurt, but you're just you're just angry about it. Yeah, that burst into blood, the way he just morbed. Like that remember earlier when he was someone was in the cell and you saw the, the big burst of blood again? Didn't that already happen? Damn, now she fucking bad. So much for depth perception. Oh, here we go. It's time. We gotta go find the needle. Locker, where's the locker? I passed it? Stop it, chat. Locked. Figures. And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. the locker in the bathroom no because i'm pretty sure it was in the, it was in like a locker the the syringe that we win this fight with we can try upstairs is there a stairwell yeah we can go upstairs i just keep seeing dogs walking the, in the hallway dude it is so fun to walk into my living room and see three greyhounds looking at me Hi, Weechi. Hi, Weechi. Oh, Hi. Hi. I'm gonna need to rest <sighs> soon. Okay, go, go, go. Huh. Where did the time go? You're a good boy, Travis. His name's Travis. 56. Travis Hackett. Thackett. That means he was born in 1965. Here we go. Yes. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. Peachy, stop that. Is 
this my cell? Yeah, this is right. Okay. Let's lie down. Fuck. Oh, 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 yeah. Hide it where the brick was, right? That little thing. Yes. We secured the bag. Now we sleep. Check on Max. Max barked. Oh yeah, I don't think he wants to be checked on. I don't, I don't want to go near them. I think we're asking for it if we go check on him. Like, we'll lose another eye. Nighty night. Tell me what happened. I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? <sighs> I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? He, he admires us, I chat. Too tired to argue. But... Ugh. Me too. Oh, you're right. We got to check on our clues. It's been a minute since we did that. Legit didn't even know we had a map. Happy? Brew some coffee. Here we go. This is when it happens. What's this? An education. Watch. Job cleaning up the eye. I mean, it's harder than they make out in the textbooks, especially when nobody's helping you. 
You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be stuck in here forever. You know, just because you know doesn't mean you know. You know? Well said. Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. <laughs> you know? You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family? We didn't mean to hurt anybody. We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. <clears throat> We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. I think we've won him over. I don't think this really matters, honestly. So, how is your family involved? My family. Is down at the bottom of a well. Oh, that helps. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well and they're all just hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. If you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you, you're the one at the top of the well with a rope and... Yes, I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Just forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? I know, Evie, me too. I feel bad for him Information. and what he's been through, but he didn't, he actually just didn't have to be an asshole oh, the way he was. Mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first, when moon is full before its wane, rend the beast that cursed you slain. No longer shall you face your blight or fear the dread of full moon's light. Yeah. Keep reading. No. And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? <laughs> I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Kill the werewolf that bit you and you'll be cured. It has to be silver. It has to be full moon. 
seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. If you knew all this, why didn't you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so... I'm, I, I was, when I... Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not... You... They're not too easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, there's got to be some science. And you do science. Look, take some time to think about all this. So I'll be back in the morning. Are we getting the the, the vibe that his whole family has been turned into Soon werewolves enough. and he's desperately trying to like fix that? And if he fights fire with fire, he'll just become a werewolf too. Mm. I don't think I'd believe a word he just said if I hadn't. If I hadn't seen that. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Well, fuck him. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're going to fix it on our own. Here we go. Hey, Laura. Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. What part? The MDI I'm socket? So or? It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. You said let me in there. Rick! I know they're in there. Who? The counselor that didn't show up. How'd you find out? Bobby told me. You said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Oh, that's why Chris Hackett couldn't be seen at Shit. sundown by his... Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. I fucking bit one of them, Chris. What was I supposed to do? <sighs> what was that? God. Oh, my hands weren't on the controller. Oh... Got me. I'm telling mom. I think your lucky stars wasn't silver. 
What's your plan? You can't keep him here forever. I'm handling it. Maybe if you'd done your job, they wouldn't have been at the camp that night. You ever think of that? If I'd have done my job, you'd all be in prison. You ever think of that? That was all Bobby and Caleb. And are you those know hikers? And that, that, that fucking journalist? Damn it, Travis. What are we gonna do now? Whatever happened to... We're all in this together. Shit, man. Holy shit. Let's go to my office. We shouldn't talk here. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Caleb, it's your fault. Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf, Max. Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Oh my god. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... Chat would have guessed. Yeah, you did it. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then. Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow, we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Holy shit. Hey! Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh, Laura? Uh, Laura, are you okay? Uh, God damn it. Stab his ass! What the hell's going on? Laura! What if I fuck that up after all this? After all this, what if I press the wrong direction? Yes. What I don't understand though, like, is if we fucked that up somehow, we didn't get to this moment, how we would be in present day having already known that this happened. I'm starting to think you were really sick. Well, maybe I should consider acting as my major. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> you just had to knock her down a peg? You couldn't just be like, yeah, great we acting? go before he wakes yeah. up. <laughs> so he's locked in, they have his gun, She's carrying it. She's carrying it like a baton. He's just having a cheeky nap. We should grab our staff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. What is it? I thought I heard someone. Someone thinks No, I, I still can't. It's coming from behind that door. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? 
shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month, hunting. Well, I guess I won't be needing this anymore. Hey, I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> Not until Chris is dead. No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. Take the weapons, though. Like, don't You're leave right, a pistol behind for no reason. Let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. They're gonna we'll leave that gun. Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. I made my way here to camp. Left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. That's it. That's the story. And I'll jump in at the same time. After you saw me at the pool, after I shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. But... He ain't normal no more. Oh my god, was Max the werewolf that killed Emma while she was vlogging? Jump in the water! Oh, that's why the boat was just used when they saw it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. The werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you? This is an important decision. 
This is a very important decision. Wow. Ugh. If we hide it, we might screw up everything. I think we show it, right? We have to show it. We have to show it. He tried. I got away. I need to end this. We don't have much time. It's nice to see you. Isn't it fun delving into the past? They're a bad lot, aren't they? I think that's a great well, spot a to end for the night. Down. And we'll finish it tomorrow afternoon. Nothing to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? Do I finish the interlude? The, do I finish the this little thing? Or, or do I... Around in the dark. Choice is yours. Okay. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that as long I'm as I'm not going to finish it tonight. I'd like to ha uh, have right an, a little path. bit of an evening of course. to myself. Oh, we don't get to know more. That was just that. All right. We are on chapter eight. We have three chapters left to finish tomorrow. This was so fun. Holy shit. Okay. That's that, right? Right? I don't have to save, right? It auto saves. I do need to save. Oh, it's got to auto save. It has to auto save. It just says quit to main menu. There's no save button. Y'all, GG's. Thank you so much. I'm going to read out. I'm going to speed read some subs and then call it. Auto saves. Okay. GG's, man. What a fun game. What a fun, unique, unexpected game that we have right here. Beautiful game, too. Damn. Damn. That was so fun. My nail kid just got here. Let's go, Amanda. Um, I'm going to speed read some subs. Thank you so much if y'all uh, stayed for the whole time or for even an hour or five minutes. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed. I will be back manana uh, tomorrow afternoon. I'll be streaming and we'll finish the game. Um... Andy, the Relentless, Courtney, Small Shroom, Tiny Daggers, Banana. Thank you for the gift subs. Really appreciate it. Woo Berry with the 600 biddies. Also, happy anniversary. Oh, thank you so much. Pharaoh, Velvet, uh, Zelda, uh, Clown, Seriously Not, Annie, Lil Tully. Thank you for the 40. Wearing Bet Bet Blue in my Sage Green sweatshirt. Let's go. Can't believe you shot Jacob in the face. Undefeated, baby. I'll do it again. Pork Spam, Jenna Katz, King of Andrew, Atlas Exist, Just just Empty. Thank you for the 23. Celestial Mars, thank you for the 24. Appreciate you, Celestial Mars. Thank you for the resub. 
uh, Becca, Carly and Jerry, uh, Che, Dedic, Alex, King Wife, thank you for the tier two. Captain Near, thank you for the resub, dude. Bree Reese, thank you for the five gift subs. M, thank you for the three months. Camry Lynn, oh my God, with the 77 months. Thank you for 77, Camry Lynn. Thank you so much. Your girl finally finished her bachelor's in social work and I'm starting my master's in the fall. And you've just been here the whole time. We're so proud of you. Eric, thank you for the tier 330. Welcome back. Crunk Broccoli, Lex Luther, Kidney for Kennedy. Thank you so much for the tier three. Tay K with a 27. Ellie Waltman, Banana with another 10 gift subs earlier. Small Carry, Queen Taya, Courtney, Slim, JD. Thank you for the 18. Big Bink, Large Huge. Thank you for the three years. Abby, Von Lunar, Chicken Nuggy. Thank you for the 18. Saturn Cat, Captain Ducky. Thank you for the four. Coco Chunk. Thank you for the 17. Cowboy, Callie, Nick Sin. Thank you for the 33. Magic Gray. There's so many subs. Yo, remember when we said we were going to play for four hours? Well, we played for four hours. And some more. Westero, thank you for the tier two. Me Lady, thank you for the 25. Ophi, thank you for the resub. Hawkeye, welcome back. Emma, Morgan, thank you for the tier two. BW with the 50. Hello? BW. Looking great with the 50 months. Appreciate that. Welcome back. Bree Baby with the 52. All right, I definitely missed some subs. I'm Kaylee, thank you for the 60. Holy crap, 60 Bam. months, five years. Wait. Yeah, that's five years. Is it? <laughs> um, Carissa the King, thank you for the tier two. This game is so awesome, Dean Clough. A Taurus Games with the tier two. Thank you all for the subs. If I miss you, I apologize, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Badger, Jackie, Kelsey, Britt, thank you for the gift sub. G, Andrew, Transparent Alien, Courtney. Whew. All right. Y'all, thank you so much. You missed this. I did miss that. Delm, thanks for the lurks tonight. I hope you enjoyed. I'll be back tomorrow, I think around three or four, for the uh, finishing of the quarry. And then we'll be playing, I, I think, some Rocket League with Team Iraq. All right. <sighs> Thank you for a wonderful Monday stream. Y'all are great. Oh, seven. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.